I'm, I'm right. like, open <laughs> up and sit on down. So I get like my balls and my ass. I almost didn't say it. I almost didn't say it. I'm so happy I did. Are you ready? Boston, tickets are on sale for our second show, St. Patrick's Day weekend at the Wilbur. First one's completely sold out. Second show, there are still tickets available. I recommend if you're at the first show, stick around, come hang out with us for a second show. It's all going to be uh, pretty much different, uh, and it's going to be a spectacle. We got bagpipers. We've got uh, fans joining us. Hopefully a couple surprise guests. We'll see. Mean fights. A couple of Irish mix on St. Patrick's Day weekend. Sold out crowds. Doing our ridiculous podcast. It's going to be a time. Feidelberg's going to be I'm going to be shit faced. He's going to be so drunk. Anytime we've done two shows in a night in KFC Radio, I think we've only done it. This will be our third time, maybe even just our second. The second the crowd. The second one, I might just take a nap on stage. Yeah, like, I don't know. But here's the thing like, anything could happen. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking violence, nudity. Who fucking knows what happens the second show uh, of a KFC Radio live event? So go to uh, any of the KFC Radio social media tickets in our uh, in our bio uh, your biographies. Uh, also, um, any link in the description for the YouTube. Make sure you get your tickets now. Come through, have a time, hang out with us, enjoy yourself, drink some beers, and kick off St. Patrick's Day weekend right. Let's get to it. Um, maybe some more waters. There's one here, but and turn down the, the thermostat when you walk by. No. Yes. 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 Yes, Jacqueline. We gotta talk about summer coming up because I'm not doing the. Oh, it's. I mean, it's we're gonna turn the air conditioner no, on when it's summertime. No, it's but it's way too cold in here in summertime. Like it's uncomfortably cold in here. It, I mean, it's a whole summertime day yesterday, and around. you're already bitching. <laughs> it was your day. You we celebrated been, you internationally. You were more misogynistic yesterday. <laughs> you any other we celebrated you. I made you a sign. You didn't. I'm not. We, that we, sign was nothing. That was just. I made a sign for you. Me. Made you a sign for you. You are a woman. Nobody gave me any kind of coffee. I got you a coffee. What? Look I, at that. He got you I a coffee. I don't compliment. Nick, gonna, listen to your your business idea. Yeah. I'm not going to oh, compliment you, you on a listening. fucking one day because I don't think you're a child. And I don't think you need this validation. On no, but one it's day. your day to show appreciation up for all women through me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even talk to my mom yesterday. So don't get me started. On that. Yeah, you know who really doesn't give a fuck about International Women's Day? Women, like, yeah. real women. Yeah. The real women of the world. Are like, shut up. Yeah. You know how you honor me? Don't yeah. fucking talk you, to you me. Don't bother tweet. me. Today. I was sexually harassed for twenty fucking years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I couldn't. I couldn't wear comfortable pants into the office because <laughs> because men would just grope me. And now you're complaining about not getting a goddamn tweet. <laughs> fucking suck my clit for dude. real for real real women would be disgusted with you jackie but you are a woman bit could not have gone better like if, if i thought it was i thought it was scripted for a moment i thought jackie was acting but imagine imagine like it was your birthday right if i just said <laughs> it's your birthday and you were like are you gonna wish me a happy birthday do not that's what this bit is about <laughs> I was like, there's, there's no way she's. I I never. I mean, it was so not scripted that I never never. But when, thought like it was when scripted. she when she first was like, you, that's not a good sign. I was like, well yeah I know. <laughs> but she was so genuine about it. I was like, is she acting right now? Because this is really good. And she's like, I think that you think this is a bigger gesture than it is. And I was like, oh this is fucking. Well, this it is does fucking seem like real. something that you do to like, just like kind of be an asshole about it and almost give me. Almost give me like the happy International Women's Day, but then uh -huh. you did it. Well, the, and then a second video. What if someone? What if it was your birthday and someone made a sign and it said, "Which it is out your of birthday. context, like, not knowing context, that's a pretty good example." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, I, great example. Have you not seen the show? No, she I did. Have. I just didn't. Just I don't know. It's crazy. All right. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine <laughs> that. Imagine. Let's say there's two guys in an office, and one of them, <laughs> unbelievable. Happy fucking Women's Day, Jackie. <laughs> And you, know, you know what they used to get on Women's Day? <laughs> what? Nothing, because it didn't exist. 
<laughs> 365 days a year, Men's Day. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand the, the spirit of International Women's Day. I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't think I, I give a fuck I, about yeah, it. I, don't, I, don't, I understand it. I just don't think it. I don't. I didn't I don't know it existed. With, with, Did you know it existed last year? This is the it, first year was, I knew it existed. No, I, it was. It's been. It's been a thing for a few years. But yesterday really? was particularly big. Yesterday there was a. It was a little gross. It was, yesterday, uh, it, was, it was a little over the fucking top. When, with, when is International Men's Day? And don't tell me the other three hundred sixty-four. It is. It is we a have day. a day. It is a day. Yeah. Yes. What's our day? But it is. I let's don't know. let's find that out so Jackie can start planning now. <laughs> you, you better. You better. Fucking, Saturday, November nineteenth. You got. You got fucking six guys here to roll out the red carpet mm-hmm. for. Five guys here. So I'm you better start doing, planning I'm not now. Doing shit for International Men's Day. I listen to you guys you talk you. about your dicks or whatever. 365 days. Yeah, that's your yeah. job. Yeah. We, you get paid for that. Yeah. You applied for that. Yeah, you knew what you were getting into. Yeah, let me ask you a question. Why did you apply here? <laughs> did you, like, you you listen to I the listen show before? before? Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, for how I long? liked you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, for yeah, long time like, or a little, little time? Four years. Wow. Long time. She's crazy. That's why she fits in. <laughs> He's yeah. an idiot. Yep. Oh my God! If you haven't seen it, uh, I it'll be on the vlog this week, Saturday. Uh, yeah, uh, the the you are a woman bit is you got to see it. I posted it on my Insta- on my Instagram, but the vlog will tell the full story. It is, mwah, It is Jackie to a T. Um, I have um a dumb, if we're doing just dumb things right now. Yeah. Well. Um. <laughs> We've been exclusively for 10 years. <laughs> what, probably like 1,200 episodes have, of just that. I don't know which angle to go because I have a dumb thing, so I do that. I also have a, a woman question for Jackie, so like, hmm. I have two, two easy things. We'll continue with the women's thing. Do chicks blow their nose in the shower? <laughs> do guys? Ex- like It's almost all I do in the shower is blow my nose. Do you blow your nose in the shower? Every time? Whole, whole time. Is- <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I, I do like, that. I like don't ever have snots because like, like like I spend, you, you snot I spend rocket, 20 minutes like in the morning just, just <laughs> emptying my fucking nostrils. <laughs> wow, maybe I should do that. Like, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, get it all out. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And then like sometimes I'll have panic attacks because I won't be able to find them. Like, where did it go? And then I'm worried <laughs> I'm going to like dry off. Like your and snot? Then, like, yeah, like because like sometimes you know I'm not aiming it anywhere. No. So do you think you like, snot on yourself and maybe don't wash it off? Sometimes, or wow. sometimes I wore I, wa- I snot on the wall. Wow. <laughs> now you got dry. Have you ever fucking, seen? Look at her face. She's the video, disgusted. The video. So my not video. The picture of the. Can you pull the picture of um, the horse's stall after a nosebleed? <laughs> Dude. Dude. Uh, Is it, it just like a Dexter room, like Dude, just covered it's in blood? Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, top left, top left. <laughs> it was just the horse who had a nose. <laughs> the aftermath of a horse's nosebleed at the back. Because you know he was just like. And just holding blood and just flying everywhere. There was some poor bastard trying to like calm her down. It's like a B movie set. Oh, wait. oh yeah, they voted. Oh, okay, the guy yeah, yeah. I thought that was a horse or something. That's, video that's what my oh, shower looks like when I get out in the morning. And put some Is it snot. bloody? Oh, no, no, it's not. Okay, okay. okay. Bro, that is outrageous. <laughs> how did how have you seen that? Like on Reddit or something? Yeah, it was on Reddit. That it is, is hilarious. It's an unbelievable bro. picture. So the answer is no, Jackie. Well, so, I mean, I I don't like, do. That. I got to start doing that. Freshman year of yeah, I didn't even occur to me that it didn't even occur to me that like like you could like pee in the shower until yeah, girls don't live like until, whatever until they figure that out. Now you do, right? Occasionally. Yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 Just yeah, fucking yeah. say it. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> no. You either do or you don't. I, I, you do. I, I, it's almost, it's Pavlovian. I, I'll I have take, to pee as soon as the water starts piss. flowing. I can take a piss in the toilet. And then, and then get and in, the I in the shower. Guess who's got to piss? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. No, and my dick's like, I'm getting in on this water action. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and blow your nose in the shower mm. is... I like, I, at least I respect that you're not like disgusted. Oh, she's pretty disgusted. It is... It's a. Uh, it's convenient. It's very convenient. Yeah, it is. I don't like. I. I, I have a <laughs> almost excluded the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I have a deep fear of tissues, and I have since I was a kid. It like I would freak out as a kid. What like the texture of them or something? I don't. I, dude, I would cry. I'd run. Like what it was a fucking pain in the ass you are. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I remember like like fighting my grandmother on uh, on a family retreat. I'll tell you what. Sometimes I just understand beating kids, man. <laughs> yeah, yo, like I definitely deserve the take one. Uh, like, like just one fucking swift bow. bow. Um, but we were out like a family. Like I guess we did one. T- like maybe one time in our lives we had like a family reunion, 
and we were in this big house in North Carolina that we rented for like you know fucking family members that who I'll, I never saw again in my entire life, mm-hmm. and I was just running around snot everywhere, oh. and my grandmother was like, "John Henry, come here!" And it was like it was like it was, it was this huge place. It was like four floors with like be like very open, so you could hear everything, and and she's like, "John Henry, come here!" And she like put a tissue on my nose. And I just like ran away. like a horse. I was like, no! Yeah! Yeah! Snot everywhere. <laughs> like, like, like when Beethoven shakes snot. off, it's like. And then she was just chasing me for like it was like wasn't she was so mad she wasn't giving up for like twenty minutes. And then I think from then on, I don't think I've ever used any tissue since. And and they, oh and they, well she obviously caught me eventually. Yeah. Pinned me down. Well, made, so yeah, you have a traumatic made experience me do with it. tissues. Yeah. Uh, the the number one thing that differentiates child from adult is the ability to just walk around. With snot pouring into your, your mouth. mouth, yeah, like That's two streams treat. right <laughs> into their fucking lips, and they're just like, <laughs> yeah. just I mean, it. you can't deny it tasted all right. Like it tasted pretty good. If you think back to your childhood, it tasted pretty good. It was a salty. I'm about to pull a John. That, that really grosses me out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It was like like when you got a little lip, you're like, ooh, boy. <laughs> My nose is. <laughs> it, look, I'm not, I'm not saying I eat it now. I was never a booger eater. I never picked my nose and ate it. I was oh, watering. I was oh, never no. like. Oh, no. I was never like one of those fucking weirdos. But like, if I got a little 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 something on the lip, what do you think it is? <laughs> this is disgusting. What do you think it is about the fact that it's universal? <clears throat> and I learned this pretty le- like after the fact that almost like every classroom has a kid who does weird booger stuff like under the table. Like we had two kids, Jimmy and Josh. One was this tiny little, uh, he's like a little brown kid. I don't know what he was. Racially. <laughs> he's a little brown kid. He wasn't Indian. He wasn't He wasn't <laughs> Spanish. I don't know what he was. He was a little adopted brown kid. Sure, okay. And then, this, and then Jimmy was this I tall mean, kid who was like. I had a lot of little brown kids in my school. They were Portuguese. Like, there's, Maybe he was Portuguese. Is that, and he could be. There's yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot different of races that are, yeah. that are. But he had no accent. Brown. He didn't have any distinguished. He was brown. You know, they were American. Yeah, he's just, just, just American brown. He just had a tan. <laughs> he was just a fucking European yeah, with a tan. Like rich kid just came back from vacation. Yeah. <laughs> but then Jimmy was like Ivan Drago, really tall, blonde kid. They were like like the odd couple. And they both would pick their nose, and they would put it under the table, and they would like pretend that it was an army. Like, I had an army of boogers, oh, yeah, and you had an yeah, army yeah. of boogers, and they were going to clash one day. <laughs> and then, like, later in life, I found out that, like, you know, you had a friend who did that, and, oh, I had a friend who, who I did, don't know about the army. But, like, they did the the booger stuff under the desk. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you played yourself there. You, yeah. you started this topic. Remember that. Remember that. But, like, why there's something inherent that like, these kids grow up in different corners of the globe, Never met each other, never talked, all did booger stuff under the desk. Yeah, I don't, that one I don't get. That it's one weird. Get. It's very, very, very bizarre. But yeah, and kids then, kids with their ability to run around with their snot, the moment, that, not, the moment yeah. that you are like, I can't have a faucet of snot running into my <laughs> mouth, is the minute you become an adult. It's not your bar mitzvah, it's not when you turn 18, it's not this, it's not that. It's when you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna get rid of this snot. Because I don't know how the kids fucking do it. It's t- and, and, and they run away, like, I'm like, let me, blow, like, let me wipe your nose. Yeah. And they're like, no, like, they'd rather have it like that. Yeah. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> and that's when I think you should be able to hit your kids. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the other day, Keegan, we were, I was taking Keegan to school, gave me this awesome hat, and I'm going to school with him. And we couldn't find his jacket, so he just had to wear a different jacket. End of the world. Just like meltdown city. Fucking tears. I just want my jacket. I'm like, on the one hand, I feel you. Your jacket's your jacket, you know? But I was like, it's just it's it's in Mary's car. We don't have it. I was like, we're gonna I was like, you're not even gonna wear um, the Caitlin's I'm like, you're not even gonna wear the jacket. I'm gonna let you not wear your jacket walking from the car to the school. Don't even fucking worry about it. And he just wouldn't be cool about it. And I was just like what am I supposed to do now other than just shake it around? It's not. The jacket's not around, dude. This is not here. He, I, I, I storm around and I just go, you got to be fucking kidding me. What the fuck? I don't, yeah. I don't cry well, anymore. That's, but. that's the thing is like, you know, when you're, I feel bad when I can tell they don't have the wherewithal to just be like, fuck. Yeah. You know, yeah. like kids don't know to go, fuck. <laughs> they just cry and they're upset and they, you know, and I'm like, dude, just let out a good fuck and you'll be, you know, just be mad at me and we're good. Yeah. Don't be yeah. sad about it though. I did have a moment though. Speaking of that hat, it is very impressive 
how well you're speaking English in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been tiptoeing around. I said I said, listen, the hat yeah. is for sure the incorrect size. It's way too big. I it is not age appropriate. And if we're calling a spade a spade, it is not race appropriate either. I should at least be I, I would say Dominican. I, 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 yeah, that's you know, Hispanic for yeah. sure. It's either a black guy or or Dominican. I for think sure. more Dominican. Yeah, yeah because of the. Um, the artwork, I think. Yeah, I don't like know. Like the what hat, is, the flat brim hat itself can be like a black guy, but the when you do like artsy flowers and <laughs> embroidered shit, I've got. Did you know that the state flower of New York is a rose? Yeah, no. Do now. <laughs> That's why there's a rose. The Empire State's got the outline and the big apple. Keegan got me this hat, so I will now wear it forever because. But I don't know because I got the hat and it was really cute because it was my because birthday. It's beautiful. <laughs> because it's sexy, that's why. <laughs> because that thing is fucking hot. <laughs> I don't know what accent I'm doing. <laughs> I can't be offensive because you can't lock it I down. Know, I know. I know. <laughs> like, you know like, like you might be Italian. <laughs> we know how you are with accents. It's great. I like the way you do that. Like, eh, if you eh, can't eh, accuse eh. me of doing an accent, you can't say I was being offensive. <laughs> Like, was he doing? Was right. <laughs> I think it, the way you go, the ha 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 ha, it has that weird, like, ha ha ha. You can't even give me what hemisphere it's from. You can't tell me I'm being offensive. It was Josh, dude. It was Josh from elementary school. He talks that way. I don't know where he's from. Uh, but he got, he got me the hat, and I thought it was like, it was the first time that I've gotten an actual, I mean, you know, for years you get, uh, uh, school projects sent home and shit like that. You know what I mean? I actually, I don't know whether this was cute or fucking depressing as a kid from a broken home, but it was a <laughs> picture of him. Wait, you just got <laughs> geek as a kid. Well, listen, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I didn't. I didn't until this moment. I thought for the most part they were having a nice little like uh, nice childhood. You know, they don't know anything other than just mom's house, dad's house. Everything's all good. They're happy kids. But they did a school project where they were they made a hot air balloon uh, with like markers and cutouts and you know like art, arts and crafts. And then they put a little picture of Keegan in the basket. Mm -hmm. And then they put a caption, if you will, like a little they they glued a piece of paper on that was like, um, "Where do you want to go in the hot air balloon?" It was like. I like to go, and it just said to Dad's house, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like, where in the world can your imagination come up with that you'll fly in a hot air balloon to like the mountains or to the you know, to my Dad's house, <laughs> and and Caitlin was like, did you see that? It was so cute, and I was like, was it though? <laughs> no, see, was it? I would because my my son needs to, my son thinks he needs a preposterous method of travel to reach his father's <laughs> house. I, I don't know how that goes. See, I would have thought it was, I was ready to cry, but I, it was like, I, like, I don't think, I mean like, Keegan's not gonna say Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know Puerto Rico exists. And like, he does. I don't even think he knows mountains. I don't, no, you know. yeah, yeah. That's why he just so, picked the only. Pl he knows Mary's house, mom's house, and dad's house. That's I, like it. You know. Well, that's why I thought he was going to combine them. I and he thought he was going to say, uh, "I want to go to our house." That would kill me. <laughs> then, no, then, if that happened, I, would, I was going to be like, "Oh my god!" No, that, I, would, I would absolutely kill myself. <laughs> that day is coming. No, that day is coming. And when I do, they're just not going to have a fire. I'm gonna kill like, myself. Guess what? Now you do have an our house because dad's house doesn't exist. <laughs> now you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> You know what? Let me just eliminate this problem. No house, no second house anymore, because there's no second parent anymore. No. There, there are there are, there are times, uh, not not to bring down the moment, the, the mood, but there are times where Shay now starts to be like, "Why are there like mommy days and daddy days?" And I'm kind of like, "No, oh, next question." What yeah, about? yeah. You know, just like keep it moving. Oh. Uh, but I, but I was deflection. Happy to hear. I know it well. <laughs> We're gonna teach you a lesson right now, girl. <laughs> but but it was I, I was happy last night. I went out with a few of my friends, and uh, you know all we do is like talk about kids and shit because we're old and lame. And he he said he's he's married still, and his kids have they, what they still call mommy days and daddy days when like one mom when mom's at work or dad's at work or whatever, and daddy days are when you can like eat whatever you want and do whatever <laughs> you want. So I was like, all right, even the fucking uh, married people have daddy days, so we're good. <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, so usually that you, you, you bring home these dumb fucking gifts and it's like, oh, thank you. Like throw it in the garbage, you know? But this was the first gift that he ever got me. 
uh, that's like at least an actual tangible thing, as ridiculous as it is. <laughs> so she said, what should we get dad for his birthday? He said, the Mets. She was like, what do you mean? Like, how do you get the Mets? And he was like, let's just get something Mets. <laughs> and so they went to the store, and he was like, that. Ah. So Caitlin got it for me. Probably uh, p- people were like this is a this is a spiteful ex move. <laughs> it's like sabotage. I'm gonna make it wear this dumbass fucking hat. Uh, it, I mean, it wasn't. She she was like laughing about it. She's like, you don't have like to wear to it. But I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I I'm like, no, fuck that. First of all, uh, you know, fifty percent because I think it's funny and it's yeah. funny for content. Fifty percent because I don't think it really matters. But I was like, I don't know, maybe if uh, Keegan you know sees this thing collecting dust. I don't know. Maybe on some level he's like, what the fuck, Dad? Yeah, yeah. But I, I assure you it's not that because I've been wearing it all the time now. <laughs> and the other day I was like, I want fucking credit for this. And I was like, yo, Keeg's like, what do you think, man? I've been wearing your hat. And he's playing fucking Minecraft. And he, like, looks up and he was like, yeah. <laughs> and I like, went back to work, like, gaming. Yeah, no and I was shit. like, I, I'm great at presents. You knew this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? Maybe that's, maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's like you don't get all the – Glory, because he's thinking, yeah, I'm the fucking man. Because I made him feel that way by wearing it. I don't know. That's that's what, I, that's what I'm telling myself. But now I will be wearing the hat. And on on the the Kevin Clancy show today, we because I was mad, I took off the sticker. That was a stupid move. I should have left the sticker on just for the maximum ridiculousness. But I said anybody who has pins or stickers or embroidery or patches, anybody with a little bit of talent, send them in, and and good ones will make it onto the hat, and we'll make this thing. God. You want to know when I really look ridiculous? When it's backwards, I look like Pablo Sanchez. Yeah. The hat is just huge when it's backwards. <laughs> it's just, like, puffy. Wait, but it's not put, put down, right? You're kind of, like, angling it up? Well, if it goes down, it's... Over the years. Yeah, I can go over the years. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait, no, it works, it's worse down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, why I, that's why I do the up. The up is funny because it, it bulbs out. And then when I do this way... It goes over the years a little bit. And the br- I mean, the brim goes back to my temple. Yeah. So I just kind of do the floating thing. Uh, I've got a pinhead, and it's a weird hat, and this is just this is just me now. This is just it. Um, so, you know, get used to it, man. I mean, I was walking the streets yesterday to go to dinner, and, and two people were like, "Where's the hat?" And I was like, oh, "Already? This, yeah, yeah." I was like, "This is gonna yeah. be the thing." Also, four people stopped me in like a ten block walk, which is you know we get stopped, but like that's a lot. Yeah. One dude, uh, two guys said, "Where's the hat?" One dude called me Feidelberg. <laughs> like n- knew, he was like, "Yo, man, like content, much continued success, dude. Like you're great. Like thanks, Feidelberg." And what? I was like, "How?" He looked so excited and really genuine about it. I was like, "How could you be such a real fan and then call me Feidelberg?" And then I got stopped by I gotta I gotta give you a little backstory on this one too. Last week on the Kevin Clancy show, oh, we talked about warm up porn, right? Warm up porn? Yeah. Yes, you yes. told me about. It. Yeah, he said yes. This dude stops me. And he goes, yo, man, I'm sorry to, like, real quick, I don't want to, I don't want to um, take up your time because we were passing each other. He's like, can I get a picture real quick? I'm like, yeah. And then he goes, oh, um, um, and I was like, well, now you, now you are taking up time. And people are <laughs> bouncing into us. And he's like, I called your show last week. I'm warm up porn. And I was like, oh my God, yeah. dude. <laughs> like, maybe keep that one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I met warm up porn before people in a, in a walk. I was like, God damn. I guess business is good, but the hat will be out, you know, probably like four days a week these, these days. Yeah. yeah. Um, you had something stupid to talk about, but before we do that, let me tell you about something very, very smart. One of the smartest uh, business pleasure investments you can make in the world right now, legitimately, the Icon Pass. If you are um, a skier, snowboarder, winter mountain enthusiast, the Icon Pass is... It is the, like, you just have to do it. It's a, it's, it's a, a. I believe the math is, and, and don't quote me exactly on it, but it's it's something I've bought before. I believe it is if you ski three days a year, it is. Well, actually, why don't you tell me the price? Me, yeah, it's starting at two forty nine for Ow. adults. <laughs> if you ski, if you ski a day and a One half. One day, yeah. The, the, so <laughs> there's an Icon Pass session two day and session three day offer. So different affordable entry points. Uh and it's 249 bucks that gives you like a season's worth of skiing it's like yeah if you go one time uh they have spring access they uh if you're talking about going uh next I was season say, it's gonna snow this weekend fucking buy it right now go ski this weekend it paid for itself absolutely uh it is there's over 50 of the best ski destinations in the world they have a multi-destination pass you can go, like I said, to wrap up this season, get ready for next season. 
uh, get everything you need for uh, you know your ski lifestyle with Icon. It is. It's almost like you remember the old school movie pass. When oh yeah. It, when it was like ten dollars a month. Yeah. And you had unlimited <laughs> movies. Like, I, like I, and you, I'm st- I'm legally stealing from you. Right. And we were like, we were all like, this doesn't make sense mathematically. They're going to go out of business. And then they did. And then they did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Icon Pass has been around for a long time. The Icon Pass. I don't know not how they do it. I don't know how they do it. It's an amazing deal. They should be going out of business, and they're just still killing it. I'm trying so. to look up the mountains right now. I believe it's like I want to get it right. Um. You're gonna get all the best prices for the finish. It's got, so for I, I imagine most of our listeners are in the East Coast. So I will tell you the Eastern Mountains, Wyndham for the New York area, and then if you're in New England, you got Stratton, Killington, Sugarbush, Snowshoe, Sunday River, Sugarloaf, Loon. If there's any, those are the big ones. If you're at any point in the East, that's one of the mountains you'd see. And listen, yeah, we got an East Coast bias, but I'm sure there's some West Coast spots too. There's uh, there's a we're lot. Not, of West we're not gonna spots. leave you guys out. You can get in on the Icon Pass too. It starts all at 2:49. At IconPass.com. That's I K O N Pass.com and start skiing today. What was your uh, stupid thing? This is going to be very quick, I think, because I, th- I think I'm one of the only people. In fact, I, people on Twitter are, I'm getting more agreement than I expected. But you know what, what Russell Wilson's nickname is, right? Uh, what, Mr. Unlimited? No, that, that was one he tried to make for his own, but like it, it's, it's D A N G E. R U S S. Dangerous. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't. I mean, I didn't know that. But you just got it. Yep. You just got it. Well, I just. I mean, I never heard. Like, I got it, kind of immediately. Yeah. But I guess if you didn't, if you just told me his nickname's dangerous, I would. But like reading like, it, I would like. I, it, it was always. It's it was capital D A N G E capital R U S S. And I was. If always, I were to read, oh, you were reading it, and not getting it. I was like, well, I, I was reading it as something like danger, Russ Wilson. And I was like, this doesn't make sense. Like, why isn't it the full thing? And it just never clicked dangerous. to shorten well, into dangerous. 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 Dangerous, Wilson. It never. Yeah, that's his Twitter handle. D-I-N-G-E. Oh, so maybe that's why I've never been able to figure it out. Because his Twitter it's, handle is Dangerous D-A- Wilson. Yeah. Dang- and I, I was like, Rush. Danger, Russ Wilson. You know, like well, that, but that show, the Jeffer- Jeffersons? Jetsons? No, no, Danger Will Robinson. Will, yes. Danger Will Robinson. Danger for some, Will Robinson. Danger. For some reason, That's I, I, what I, I was thinking of when you said that. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you're alone in that. I feel like I feel like if you're our age and someone says, like, danger and a name, you're, our brains would probably go to that Will yeah. Robinson. What is that? Is that from Space of Space, uh, uh, Space Quest? I, I think there's a reboot of it right now out there. I can't, yeah, I can't think of it. It's not the Jetsons. It was like a Danger Will Robinson. Fuck, I can't, I can't place it. Uh, I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Lost in Space, I think, is it. Um, not Space Quest. Yeah, Lost in Space, Danger Will Robinson. Yeah. So, Danger Russ Wilson. It's just dangerous. Dang- you know, I, the only reason I but got like, it today no, for I, I the would, first time. I would be like, I'm Danger. Like, I, I, you, have to, you have to hit the Russ to make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the only reason I got it is because the, the Cleveland, oh, I'm sorry, the Denver Broncos tweeted out, Woke up feeling dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. And I was like, oh, well, there yeah. Listen, it we all we we've had these epiphanies, you know, tortilla chips, scare, yeah, yeah, yeah. scarecrows, right. <laughs> like these things hit you, and it's funny when your brain is just like, oh. yeah. and most people they just keep these things quiet. That's what the, we the, celebrate the stupidity. The uh, first couple of replies were like, you can just still delete this kind of deal. Yeah, and then started rolling in. Thank you for saying this. I just got it. There are you. things, though, that, like, the average brain just doesn't pick up on. And I think a lot of these people are lying sometimes when they're like, duh. And it's like, all right, maybe you did know, but you found out, like, last year. And uh, Yeah, it's also, yeah. like, it's just like, yeah, no, I, I can 100% admit that was fucking dumb. But, like, I don't know, we all do dumb things sometimes. Like, it was just, yeah. and, and, and some of us more than others, looking in the mirror. And it is, it's, but it's just like, yeah, I was, just, it was I was dumb. I'm not, I don't. I'm not. I mean, tortilla chips was one of the stupidest moments <laughs> of my life. I'm not uh, trying Hamilton to defend Island. it. Like, it was, had, it was know, stupid. Top right. five don't, d- dumbest moments of my life, right here, no <laughs> doubt. Uh, is da- are the Broncos now? Like, I, I, I think that was a weird move. I think, I think the Broncos is, are so is, used to having a quarterback that they just can't not have one. But like, I don't know. They. Uh, this is you want an NFL expert's advice? I'll give it to you. Um, the, I think they are still the third best team in NFC AFC West. And, but more specifically, I think that if that's all it takes to get a top-tier quarterback, if your GM's not getting one, you need to fire him immediately. What, what was the end of that? It was like two first rounds, two second rounds. 
uh, a fourth and and uh, I don't know, like three players I don't really know. I think two of them are like okay maybe. Is is Russell still like really uh, in his prime? Is he still cooking? Supposedly the Saints said that like they were looking at him and they're like he's, no. he's not the same guy. Yeah. Well, it's I mean that'll be you know if he falls off a cliff it'll be like a great deal. He, if he, he has you said know. like Brady. He has said he wants to play until he's forty five. So if he does that. And if uh, if he's he was like healthy, a thick he's still the other day in the pictures I saw. Yeah. <laughs> he's he a thick boy. But if he does that, then you have your quarterback for twelve years. Yeah, I mean if that the, works. If yeah. that's if that's the going rate for a fucking top tier, because you know anyone who says top, Russ Wilson is still a top tier quarterback, anyone who I saw on Twitter yesterday, because I don't fucking know about well, any quarterbacks. I mean, but the it is if that's the going rate, two two first round picks. And two second round picks. I don't know that. And I feel like draft picks are so important in the NFL. They're not important, right, Jackie? Draft. Right, yep. You get a haul for these picks. <laughs> oh, but we, draft picks. Draft picks give you our, our unscratched lottery tickets. They're nothing. Yes, yes. But like, you're, you're probably gonna fucking lose. But you know, it, it's. Uh, but Pete, look, he's a thick boy right there. Look at that. Yeah, I saw PFT tweet about this. I did, I don't think he looks that for a quarterback, bro. I guess I can't That's really see That's not the see build the I'm black. looking for in a quarterback. He's got titties, bro. He's got he's got a But he's always been a little bit of a thicker. He's 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 jacked. stockier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's jacked. He's, he's uh, compact. We had a moment we were trying to get Jackie's jacked up opinion for the trade and Pavs accidentally said um, Jackie Russell Westbrook has been traded to the Broncos. Your thoughts? And I thought he was just fucking with her, <laughs> just trying to like, you know, make her look like an idiot like we do. <laughs> and um, she started to like formulate uh you know pull a, a jacked up take out of her ass and and he, and then Paz was like oh f- shit did I say Russell, Russell Westbrook and we were like oh you should have just like let it let it go you know but then um so then I was like Jackie why you know why is this a thing like what and and I was like who really is Russell Westbrook and she was like he's a basketball player I was like all right so I <laughs> something's getting getting through there oh uh, Drew, Drew Locke was one of the guys in the trade which is a quarterback that everyone's already deemed not I mean that, so that's just like so, a, so that's, a, that's a who cares. I mean, it, it, it's, Bullock, it, it I is just is if you have. A, I don't know him, but I hear he's pretty good. And are, the these, other guy, are these picks close together? Or are they spread out? I do not know the answer. That, to that. That's you really can't evaluate anything until like tra- until those drafts are done because it might. Because the thing is, if you have a, but they're just the draft you have a Herschel are just Walker in the tail on donkey. Yes, but if you have a Herschel Walker draft and build a dynasty off of a trade. It's you're the smartest guy in the room. When 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 they traded everything in the world for uh, RG three, and like those picks didn't really pan out. Mm-hmm. Like you know who was that? That was the Redskins. And, oh, they traded up for the pick, right? Who they trade that to? We don't even know, right? I don't remember. No. So that's kind of the point. It's like, uh, but I think Herschel Walker like broke the NFL's brain for the last like thirty years because there's this idea that you know you could build an entire team for one guy, then you do it. I think it, it really just depends on if Russell Wilson. Like can play or not really, but like when the when the Jets were moving Jamal Adams, like I'll take that trade. A I think million until times until Russell million. Wilson's injury last year, I think he was an MVP candidate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I think, so well, I think that I, would, also I feel like they've play. had a couple seasons in a row where they where they started hot and then kind of tailed off. But when they play good, they're yeah. playing good. It's always going to be like hypothetical until those those draft picks uh, are like actualized and you see where they come from. Because also right now. I don't know where does like the human athlete stop because I'm almost starting to feel like you know betting on some of these guys for the future you 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 just have more and more of a chance of getting a fucking freak show it seems like and I don't know if I don't know at the combine if the stopwatch was fast or something slow whatever but the numbers are just getting crazy. What were they? Like I, I, someone, I, I honestly didn't really know that the combine happened. Dude, dude, on uh, I don't remember anybody like who who what their names were where they're from. Dude ran like a four two one. We're approaching like getting into like the low twos and potentially four ones. Like where does it stop? There was a guy who was like six six three seventy five who ran like a. Four well, those flat, ones uh, like to me I, are so much more impressive than a wide receiver running a four two. Agree, like agree. A middle linebacker running a four six. Yeah, yeah. This guy, I mean, this guy was like an offensive lineman, and he oh, ran he like a. Guy. You know, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure there was a guy who they. Th- I think the record was broken, and then broke, and then that record was broken like later that day. Then there was a dude who was like a, a guard or a tackle or something who ran like a three, uh, like a four six, four eight, something like that. Uh, and I'm just like, is there? Yeah, this is a this is not a great performance, Paps. <laughs> <laughs> you put in sixty yard dash. <laughs> it it, it auto filled the word you needed. You just hey, it, it was it was like results, bro. You mean results? 
And you were like, no, nah, that's, gotta, that's we, not We gotta do the triathlon. <laughs> Let's say that I look mm-hmm. up 40 things a podcast. Uh-huh. It's the one time. I know. That's the, the same one time argument that I make. That you can't but also, have it's that, 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 that argument is like... Uh, it's like if you're an Uber driver, you're like, I usually get everyone there safely, <laughs> but I get in one accident and the people die. It's like, this is just something you got to be able to do every time. Because, and it's not even because it's important. It's because it's, it's brain dead easy. <laughs> just, just search like, like, Jackie, actually, do you want to, you want to put your money where your mouth is and find these really quickly? I just don't know what we're talking about. But okay, yeah. so uh, we were talking about we were. I, 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 I like I like Jackie's. So I wasn't paying attention. So I'm awesome. <laughs> okay, well let's go. This is brilliant. It's like, oh, I'm not paying attention to my job. I'm not doing my job. Um, yeah. So what is it? this guy's three forty and what do you run? Six eight. Four seven eight. Four seven. I mean that's crazy. So like, and I'm just thinking, what about like. A hundred years from now, well, I, I also I saw another video of a guy, uh, you know, when they crack they they crank the treadmill up to like twenty four miles an hour, yeah. he did it, but he did it with ease. Like you know, usually they like they pace it and they have to like drop in almost. Uh-huh. Like he just like he did like one two and then he just started running and he wasn't he was just I'm like this is where does it end? Where do where does the forty yard dash end? Where does the hundred yard dash end? Where does where do where do pitchers top out? In 100 years, are people going to be throwing 110? Or is there a human limit? I would guess there's no human limit. Well, there is a human limit. We <laughs> reached a human limit a long time ago. We're past the human limit now. What, what do you mean? Like, we're taking, enhancing stuff. We're, oh, like if we're, we weren't doing, yeah. Like we're just, having, like, re- like surgically but, but repaired even, soldiers where you're, so- shoulders where you're, like, part better than like, Right, right. So, like, I, I guess the I'm human limit without, has been surpassed. Without, where uh, where science uh, stops, I don't know the answer to yeah. that. I, without like mechanical shit, like if you have a fucking mechanical arm and you can lift whatever, like let's say, yeah, you're you're doing enhancers, but like the limits of and I don't even mean I don't even mean like steroid, like illegal steroids, but no, like you're taking like, like, enhancing right and, and your regiment, and your diet, and yeah. like you know all like everything that's like finely tuned down to like everything you put in your body. But is there like a point where like you know ligaments, muscles, tendons, everything just like oh, b- I mean basketball. They're going to have to change the sport soon. Did you see that clip of the, the two kids playing in the All-Star game? They were, like, 15? No. Um, it was like Steph Curry really ruined the game, like, in a joking way. But it was an All-Star game, so no defense was being played. But these kids are probably, like, you know, 15. And the one kid comes down, and he bombs it from, like, three feet beyond the line. Watch. And what's crazy is, like, halfway through, you're impressed, and you realize the video has, like, can you make it larger? So that's the second one. <laughs> And I'm already like, wow, that was cool, right? They have like three more rounds to go. <laughs> and these are just like, you know, scrawny white kids yeah. out here at regular high school games. Watch this one. He's just like, like they're keeping different logo. kids. No, I think it's just two guys. But oh, it's just two guys. So I think I'm not really paying attention, but it might just be guy for guy or team for team. But he, I think there's a couple. Look at that. That's beyond half court. And they're not even like heaving them. They're just jumpers. This guy's going to hit another one. It just doesn't end. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Like the game is different. There, there's, there's probably some old school coaches right now in the stands being like, what is this yeah. trash? I saw. Um, where's a nice bounce pass? Right, yeah. Where's a backdoor cut? I saw uh, somebody was tweeting the other day about Larry, Larry Bird. And he had four career 60 point games Mm -hmm. and he had four three pointers total in all four of those games really he was like one for two oh for three one for one for two and i know it was like there was something like like a while ago i saw that like steph curry hit more in a two season span than larry's whole his whole career yeah Yeah. because it was like either he didn't have it or when it was brand new the game still that's that's the one the yep right in the middle there well 50 point games sorry do you know how hard it is to get fucking 60 points with just twos? <laughs> I mean, let's say you go to the line a decent amount. You still have to have, like, 25 baskets. Yeah. You know? just to, it, It's it's crazy. So, like, yeah, you know, the, the thing is, like, if Larry Bird had the three-point line. But, um, or, like, uh, if he, you know, if he had today's game where they utilized it more. Um, but, you know, like, what are they going to do about basketball? Because you're going to have to, like, play full-court press all the time now because people are just going to vote. 
Like, Steph's just going to keep moving back. Did you see that girl on... Uh, Illinois. No. Iowa. I was going to say North Carolina. I, Iowa, I, I, Illinois. I think it's Iowa. One of those. It was, it's I like mean, Caitlin something. Yeah, she's Iowa bombing State, like Steph Curry. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, if, if chicks are, are shooting from the logo, like, and, and kids are, it, I mean, it's like, the you know, do you, do you change... But I think sport deals with that pretty well. I mean, but I, I don't know. know. Like, I, I think that there hasn't been... You know, b- baseball to me is always the wildest one where ev- I think defense has, has increased with offense where it's like you're running faster now, but plays at first base are almost always still bang-bang because uh-huh. the shortstop is that much smoother and throws that much harder or whatever it is. Like, the you would think by now that, like, we would need the, the fences to be moved back, like, 100 feet, and, like, it's still, you know, relatively people are only hitting 40 home runs. You know what I mean? Like, it kind of has naturally stayed in place. But I don't know. Some of these things just feel like I think you can shrink the hoop. Shrink the rim? Yeah. I mean, there's not there, – it's already pretty – That's basketball is kind of weird when you think about it. Out of all the sports – I think it's – I guess baseball would be the hardest where it's like you got to hit this round so, That's like moving the bat. kickers back, though, if you shrink the rim a little bit. I feel like I, they got to raise the rim. Raise it? Yeah. I think but then, but like then like, you're changing, like, the entire geometry of it. I feel like if you shrink it, it's like you have to be more accurate now. Yeah. Because you're, you're so accurate, you have to be more accurate. Yeah. You like it, it, two basketballs inside. That's what – dude, I, that happened when that I was – That is like, always a little bit surprising. I yeah. was at, like, a CYO, like, practice when I was, like, four, and – our coach was like had, had a hoop on the ground he'd brought to practice. Yeah, to like show you. He put two through it. He's like, you never have an excuse to miss a basket. You can fit two in. <laughs> I was like, dude, what? But, but all things I considered. I can't even reach it. How's that for an excuse? <laughs> that's like, what I mean. Like, that's, that's not, that doesn't mean all that much, you know? It's like, to me, I think it's pretty crazy that even, forget about the pros, because they can do crazy shit. For the most part, you get, you just hand a ball to a guy who's like an athlete generally athletic and and uh doesn't play basketball like at all and his body will still know like he just looks at it thinks about it and like i know to push with my arm that much and you'll get generally close Mm. that kind of is weird to me yeah Yeah. it's it's not really a sports thing as much as it's like the body thing it's like you know we know how to move and pick things up and do things but it's like that hoop is that far away Mm. <laughs> and it knows, yeah. you know. It doesn't go wildly over the hoop. It doesn't miss by ten feet. It's like you get pretty close. Your body just kind of. And don't get me started on talking. Okay. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> the fact that like my our brain just says like say these words and some vibrating fucking chords. No, I think this one's a lot sound. different than sports. <laughs> this, yeah. is, this is human anatomy. <laughs> but well, I, guess that's weird. What I guess that's what you were talking it's, it's about. Body, but... It's body. It's body. Like, your body just doing things naturally. Like, it just, all right, we're going to vibrate, like, this much, and our tongues are going to just move this way, and we'll say that word that you want to say. Like, the fact, here's what I think should happen more often. Here's what I think should happen more often. Sometimes you should just, like, completely say the wrong words, and not because, like, you got your brain crossed, because, like, your tongue just misperformed. Oh, I do that all the time, I think. You think so? It's not like, like, like it's uh, not like, uh, oh, uh, I can't uh, think uh, of the uh, word, like but it's like. Like you lisp something. No, like, but what I mean is like, I want to say the word bird and car comes out because like it just gets fucking mixed up. <laughs> I think there should be bigger slip ups in human language than there are. <laughs> it, I, seems weird, it seems weird to me that we pretty much always get it like perfect. The occasional lisp, the occasional stutter. Sometimes we, our brains I think like, I oh, say what, wrong what, what you would call it. You think you say things wrong a lot? Not a lot, but enough. But not pronunciation. I'm talking about you just your, your wires got crossed. You just said it wrong. Just, but how do you know that it was my wires? How do you know it wasn't my tongue? Yeah, I guess. Well, because it's just like, yeah, like who do you blame? The tongue or the yeah. brain? Who do you blame? The tongue or the brain? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm high right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm on that three che. Um, anyway, let's get into the rest of today's show. We've got. Um, Eric Stone Street on the show. Cam from Modern Family. Uh, he's been on before. You, if you know him, if you're a big fan, you know him from the goat cheese episode where he revealed that goat cheese smells like semen. Did you see the video of him coming to the coming to the studio? No. It's very very funny. What is he like disgusted with? with no, it's he's just very, very perplexed. It is. <laughs> It's fucking. I'll, I'll find it. it who, is, who posted it? It is. Uh, School oh, streams. Or I want to talk about something else too. Uh, it was. I think Hank. It was some. There was a uh, five shot league going on. Okay. And the, watch, just watch this. It, it's it's a little longer than I'd like it to be, but it, like the build up is worth it. 
Uh, start us off, man. Yeah. <laughs> start us off. What is this? What is it? This, this is good. Uh, uh, five shot. Wait, what do you mean the final four, man? He's, he's giving him his shot. Just oh, one shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. shot. Is that going to think the whole play? Yeah. 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 All right, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. You're on. <laughs> just make one, just make one. Just make one. Do you imagine like you imagine like taking that shot and turn around and being like, is that Cam from Modern Family? <laughs> but that's what's crazy about the way he just started talking to him, like as if he has any basis in general yeah, for what's going yeah. on. It's the five shot league, it's the final four. If he makes two, he goes if you, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, like he needed to explain, like, oh, this is a league that we have where we have this little hoop and he just gave him the you know, that's Jersey Jerry, he's gonna go to the playoffs if he didn't <laughs> Like, I don't care. You poor idiots. I'm rich and successful. Goodbye, you poors. So we got Eric Stone Street on, who is a great interview. One of those guys that just slides right in. I don't want to spoil it, but like he he hits us with a hypothetical, a classic one. That's like okay, you know, you know this guy fucks. You fuck around, fucks. around. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and you know what? That's why sometimes I hate like publicists and shit, and like representation who they don't really know, you know, who their clients really are. Like Eric Stone Street was down to fucking. Well, clown. no, I think they do, and that's why. Oh, you think they wanted to stop him? Yeah, from, yeah. Mm. No, I think they know exactly who yeah, they so are. Yeah, they, so they, we originally had him to do answer the internet, and then they said, we're not going to do that anymore. But then he ended up bringing up hypotheticals, so I was thinking, like, why would you say no? He clearly likes this kind of stuff, and now it's clicking. Yeah. It's like, He's going to say some shit that's going to be bad. <laughs> right, right. So Stone Street is on the show for a, a good interview, uh, probably like a 45-minute interview. Uh, of course, we'll have voicemails and Am I the Assholes? Um, but first... Um, I went on Dave Portnoy's show yesterday, um, so we got to talk about that. We got to talk a little bit about Barstool Business. It's brought to you by Sling TV because right now the biggest thing uh, going in the Barstool world is the new channel on Sling. We have a 24-7 Barstool Sports uh, channel that includes all your favorite video podcasts, uh, Brandon Walker shows, Kelly Keegs has a new show debuting, I think either on the 13th or the 20th. You know, doing KFC, doing the Kevin Clancy show live now on YouTube, there's a chance I might end up on the Sling channel. Uh, so if you are into Barstool and into the video, the only place you can get 24-7 Barstool is on Sling TV, along with all your sports, all the major sports channels, ESPN, Fox Sports 1, uh, um, uh TNT for basketball. By the way, did you see that clip? I know it's old, but I hadn't seen it of Kenny and Shaq arguing about gas. Yeah, Shaq was right. Okay, well, we'll have to discuss that because <laughs> you got to make sure. You I, get your I, TNT. I saw your quote to that. I was like, Shaq's hundred percent right here. So you got to get your Kenny, Kenny, Shaq, and, and Ernie fix, uh, of course, with Charles. Uh, so you get all your sports, all your live entertainment, of course, all your regular streaming TV. At Sling, when you go to sling.com slash barstool, you sign up, you get the first few days for free, absolutely free. Uh, and uh, after that, it's just like 35 bucks a month. Sling.com slash barstool to sign up and try it for free. So the old clip from inside the NBA is Kenny the Jet saying, man, it cost me $80 to fill up the tank. And Shaq says... That's an old... It just got researched because of gas prices. I'm yes. assuming, yeah. 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 Actually, I think Charlotte Wilder just posted it. She just said, this is the funniest clip that's ever come out of sports right. analysts. I don't think she was... Ta maybe, maybe other people were talking about it because of gas prices. But Shaq proceeds to say, if you never let it get below half a tank, you don't have to worry about that. Correct. Now, why do you think that's correct? Because there is a way that I agree with it, but then there's a way that's just mathematically stupid. Because so. what bothers Kenny is just the money. Is the sticker shock. Right. He doesn't right. want to spend $80. Sure, sure. So you just okay. put in a but little bit. So you're just saying in. mentally. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. That no, makes I understand sense. the math. It's, right. Because I, I But there are people who don't. No, I, I, I got get a the lot of people but, in the mentions. But that's what Shaq, if you listen, that's what Shaq is arguing. Is he's, that, he's not is, doing it well, but he's that, he's, he's, not, he's arguing that to, like yeah, yeah, it's it's just what you're scared of is the eighty dollar bang. Right. If you just do it twenty at a time, then it's just it's not as big a deal. It, yes, but it, that is a like placebo mental effect because yes. Kenny's like, I'm gonna go four times that week. That's eighty dollars. <laughs> but if you're not, you know, it, that I totally understand. It's almost like. Um, you know, like clean up a little bit as you go. Yeah, correct. Because then you don't have a mess on your hands. But, but to say like that's less cleaning, it's like no, you're still doing it. Same, it's the same amount of cleaning. But, but the but amount of people who were like, no, dude, this is correct. Like, look at gas prices, and I was like, well, if anything, that means you would want to sign up, fill up now, now so because gas the gas prices, prices go up. up yeah. Now, if gas prices are going down, and you, dude, can, I was, I was. I was in college and I had like a roommate who had more money than me and I did I was you know scraping for change 
And he would be like, why don't you just fill it now? I'm like, yeah. why don't I fill it now? What am I, a fucking I millionaire? I can't afford to fill yeah, it now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, have to, I, w- I have to wait until I find more pennies on the street before I can put more gas into the car. When I was growing up, my mom was $10 regular, $20 regular. Like, I never heard her fill up. I always fill up now because what bothers me is not the money. What bothers me is going. Stop. I hate having yeah. to go. And I often, like, I'll, if, without fail, if I pull up to my house on empty – the next morning, I something happens and I need to be there somewhere quickly. And I'm like, fuck, I have to get – every time I leave it empty, then I have to rush in the morning. That, that's such a dad thing. Dude, my dad used to go out and get – like he'd be Just home. to be ready. Like, yeah. I'm going to go get gas. And you have doomsday preppers. Like Dante never has an empty tank. He never lets it go below half because if he has to – Drive to the border <laughs> when the zombies come. He has that and like and like a, a gallon ready to go. Yeah, to just pour in. He's an yeah. absolute lunatic. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the amount of people who were like, "Yeah, this this actually does save you money," if you could somehow know and play like the market almost, like I'm gonna go fill up now while it's cheap because it's gonna go. Like, you could theoretically save some money. But I've said this before, and maybe this comes from a place of uh, money and privilege, but like. Gas to me, it just is what it is, and so you just – I don't even look oh, at it. Oh, dude, but, I was reading a fucking thing. That, oh, I hope I can find it. There was a thing is yesterday. I was reading on Reddit, and it was a thread of, like, what is the difference between wealth and being rich? And it was people, like, giving I've seen the, that argument, like, their opinions. Before, yeah. And it is, like – I I mean, like, everyone I've ever known is incredibly wealthy then. Like they they were so basic, like yeah. easy. Where it's like you don't know the price of milk. I'm like, well, I I know what it kind of is. I know yeah. it's probably like six. That's not a sign well, of wealth. I don't know. To me, but we- the, wait. By the way, by the way, wealth that. is the more. There were there were some good answers. But but you agree that wealth means more than rich. Right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like if you're wealthy, to me that means you. Uh, I don't know how to find things on Reddit. You know what I thought was a good. Um, I I don't either. What I, I thought is a good description of that. Um, what move? I was watching a movie recently. I think I, I think I have to Google things to find them on Reddit. I was watching a movie recently that was like, it had a very Gatsby esque feel to it. I can't remember what it was though. And they were talking about how rich the, these yeah, families were, and they were like, that. they just don't even talk about money. They don't even talk about business. It was something about like two houses uniting. Uh, I can't remember what it was, but it was just like there. You know, you, when you're when when talking about money becomes tacky, because you just like have so much of it. That's what, yeah, that's that's, like the th- those people. are like the top answers. Now. Like, they don't talk about money at all. Yeah. Um, and then uh, it's, it's all the answers have changed since the ones I saw because it's been a full day. Um, but it was like like not looking at the bill. Like that's not, that's that's not, not that wealthy. No. That's, that's no. like it means you have money, obviously. That doesn't even but mean like rich in my mind. So I don't think like, so either. Sometimes it's, it's like, like uh, yeah, I want I, if I, if I, I, I could just do math. I know I know what it probably is. I know I can If I didn't that. have to do the tip. I would probably be like, just do it. Like, I know this is going to be around like 120 bucks. Yeah, I, like I know what I ordered. Forty. I know what everyone and it's ordered. It's not going to make a difference. So whatever. The I I, I did like the one was that they like their clothes look good, but you don't know where they're from. That's a good answer. Was it? Like they don't wear like name brands. I think like I think like big brands are. Well, that's a um that's one of those things that like what can be rich and poor at the same time. Yeah. Clothes is a big time one of those. Oh yeah, like, yeah, that's true. You don't even know the brands. You don't even know the labels. You have holes in your clothes. See, they you know all never check if they ha- never check their bank accounts. That's something that that can I, I didn't do when ways. I had no money. Yeah, I, 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 do, <laughs> I that do that more, more often now. Yes, than when, I, I when I have money, is like I want to see it a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Like, Ooh, look at that! When I don't look at it, I'm like, Dude, and I, and I, without fail, every time I've done that, it's a bad idea <laughs> because yeah. I there 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 was a couple times during like the divorce years. There was a couple times in like let's say like 2000, I guess like 18. That I like hit zero dollars. Like I was like a thirty-five-year-old man with zero dollars. Wait, when? Like thir- two thousand eighteen. Like really? when like the divorce was happening, and like there was one time I How remember do three men in their thirties not have eight hundred dollars. I can't. I was one of those. I um, I remember having a freak out because I did that. I didn't check. I was like, I'm not looking. I'm not looking because I was like, I'm good, and my paycheck's coming. So I just gotta like make it to the paycheck. And I didn't, I didn't factor in auto pay bills and shit. And a couple things hit. A couple things were more expensive than I thought. A couple things I just didn't know what I was at. And I opened up my account and it was at like negative like 300 bucks or something. And I was like, I have two kids and zero dollars. <laughs> like what if something happens? And I had like a full-blown panic attack. 
And the only thing that saved me was we had done our we had just done like our first live show, resumed our live shows. So I had like a couple grand from Caroline's coming my way that like I think Brendan had the money and was like giving it out to us. And I was like, if it wasn't for that, I mean, I, I would have my paycheck in a few days, but I was just like, I, you, I can't have zero dollars. <laughs> like, I'm, in, I'm in debt, I'm like credit card debt and no money. Kids kids are getting fed chalk for dinner. <laughs> yeah. you go, eat that. I was like, um, this, no bueno, no bueno, <laughs> zero dollars. My, my favorite answer is, uh, is when asked if they have money, they say, no, my parents do. That's wealth? That's, yeah, like it's, it's, it's from, um, what is it? What's the movie with Brian Reynolds and Sandra Bullock? The proposal. The proposal, yeah. Because, and she was because like, you're like acknowledging that like your family's wealthy or like yeah, you don't make the money or right, like, it's, not, it's not my money. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. It, it's like like they show up to you. You've right. seen the proposal, right? But I almost feel like yes. When like they yeah. show up, they show up to his like fucking palatial estate, and she's like, "Oh, I didn't know you were like rich." And he's like, "I'm not rich. My parents are." Right, right. And but I, I almost feel like people. I think who are, I think rich people are like, "I get daddy's money." Got it. And wealthy people are like, "No, that's fucking their money. I don't." But they mm-hmm. well, they know they they get to like spend it and use it too, right? Or you're saying those people don't? I think get he probably money. like I'm sure he knows you it will the benefits be, of it, and you. I would think in, in the movie it's implied that like he's trying to make it on his own. Yes, he knows when his father dies, sure. that money goes somewhere. Well, that's I always felt like, that with Francis. Francis has always like struggled with that, where he was like, people think that I have like millions of dollars. He's like, my dad does, and like I'm not worried that I'm gonna go homeless, but I'm still just like trying to make ends meet in New York City, kinda, but. But that's what I mean. Like, you know, he... he, he no, but did you ever go to Francis' apartment? No. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. But so, what, <laughs> so was he just, like, lying I, I, and had the money? I don't think... I don't, I think you maybe misinterpreted what Francis said. I, I, I remember him saying that I didn't grow up rich. Like, my dad got rich when I was in college. Oh. But so he still maybe gets... he said both. But like, I've, I've been to Francis' apartment. Yeah, he's got he's not trying to make ends meet. He's, he's good. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> he's good. I mean, he, has, he does videos where he plays the piano in his apartment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a keyboard, right? Keyboards aren't expensive. I, I forget. That's a good one. Uh-huh. You got pianos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a nice piano in your house. That's like, I have so much money, I need to buy ridiculous toys. No. <laughs> no, my, we have a piano. Like a, I mean, like a nice one. You have like a Steinway oh, yeah, yeah. piano. Or oh some yeah, shit, yeah. You know what oh I mean? yeah. In that yeah, case, yeah. Yeah. yeah if you have any, any two hundred thousand dollar toy, yeah, <laughs> that, that nobody plays. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter how big yeah, it is. When it, it just sits there. I used to go to my rich friends' houses and be like, "Can I play that?" They're like, "I don't know if it works." Yeah, so like, it's it out of tune. tune it's I'm all like, dusty. I'm like, "It's gonna be fine." Yeah, like, it's, <laughs> yeah. it takes like fifteen years for them to actually actually go out of yeah. It's crazy. That was you know we never talked about. I don't think it is the. We had a piano, and me, and my dad, and my brothers broke just it with, destroyed it with an axe. <laughs> One of the most hey, like, like don't get me wrong, we were moved. Like, we didn't just take it outside like, oh, get my piano, break with axe. <laughs> like, like my but, mom, but no, no, but you did. My mom was it, like, get rid of this. The action was that. My, yeah, my mom was like, get rid of this. The, the, yeah, the, the, and the, I think the she reason meant behind it. Throw it away. But once you were going, it was. We break piano with axe. <laughs> that was some caveman <laughs> shit. I'm surprised you didn't chop any limbs off or anything. Speaking of wealth versus rich. But wait, what, what would you wait. define? What do you think is the, the best? Because a lot of those are like almost uh, the Reddit ones are like the rich people sign the back of the check. The poor people sign the front of the check. Oh, you funny. know, that sort yeah, of shit. Yeah. Like they're almost like little cliche one-liners. Like what do you think is the difference between like true wealth? I, I, honestly, I think the, tr- the, diff- the difference between true wealth and richness is I'm, like, I don't know. Yeah, like, well, I, I, it's that, probably something until you until you've experienced either like both of those. Right. I was like this when I was rich. Now I'm like this when I'm wealthy. The difference is this. I, I think it's probably the talking about money. I, I think in in new money people definitely talk about money a lot. I also think Whereas, it's what you. I think you're wealthy once your money is like making. Like you can have a fucking fat salary, but. If that's like all, you know, you can spend it all too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I think if you get to the point where like, I, I think it's much more about like investments and and like almost like non liquid. Like I think a rich, I, I rich to me is like liquid. Wealth is like I own things. I have equity in things. I have you know it's almost it's almost like the Brady effect when he's like I don't take a paycheck. I think maybe that's it. Like I don't do I don't do paychecks. I do equity. But that's that's like like your prominence, right? Like because like you can only do that if you're an advertiser. Like, you know, like a, like a CEO can't be like, I'm not buying into this business. I'm only doing it for, like, I'm not, uh, you know what I mean? Like, like people are paying for Brady's promotion of it. So, right. Like, and so if you wanted to buy into a company, but you're like, 
Like, I'm not doing it for money. If you, I'm, I'm, I can't figure out how I'm trying to say this. But, like, people only do that because they want Brady's exposure. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, if, if you know, whatever you do, even, like, I, I got this line dropped on me by fucking Michael Gruen about, about Josh Richards when I asked him to do Answer the Internet. And he was like, I guess that's promotion, same sort of right. vote. But he was like, I don't, you know, we don't do anything unless it involves equity. Right. But I could see if you are, like, a business person, it's like, uh, you know, unless I... I get you have to be like crazy, like you have to be like a fucking genius, or like, but you have to be providing something. Yeah, but but that's what I mean. Like whatever, you know. If I but so that's not I, really wealth for us. That that's more station in life. Like okay, like you're you're a great tech guy. You'll build our website. Fine, we'll give you equity. Yeah. Or but I think once you have all that is sales when, is when you're. I think it's when you have like generational um, assets. That I, I like, honestly, I don't think there's a difference. I think it's just people's personalities. Yeah, it's like, you know what? Are you an asshole or not? <laughs> like, well, I, th I think. No, but I also think like there's a there's a classiness that that goes to it. You know, like if you're. But like, there can be. There can not be. There can yeah. be people who are fucking dickheads. Like, oh, and grandfather's guess, money and like, yeah. like that. Really, like, it's and those people are generational. I, I, I think. I, just, I would say though the the first line, the first gate on this, the first line of defense is if you made it, or your parents made it. It, what, what's the phrase that you're the first generation builds the company? It, the second one ruins it, and the third one, it's almost like. Is it, I thought the third one ruins it. I thought it was the second one. I forget what it is. But, yeah, I'm, it's something along the lines of, like, that's what I'm talking about. The, the, you know, you, the fir, it's like the first person works hard. Whoever ruins it, the generation of that works hard to bring it back yeah. to prominence. It's almost first like. First generation the, makes it, second generation spends it, third generation blows it. There it is. Hmm. Uh, you know, but they, also, I think that can be about the personality. I think, I think people are different, right? Like, it yeah, is, no, it's of a, course. It's a cop out I mean, answer. My, shout out to my but man, like, Char Charles Entman was the second generation. He took it from a uh, bakery to like. Dude, the, I can't believe Charles Entman just died. <laughs> I, like, I literally would have thought it was. The <laughs> but that's but because he's the son. So what you're thinking of is like the dad who probably was born and like who probably did die. In but just like even the look of the bo the box is like this yeah. is this was this has not been changed since 1846. <laughs> <laughs> this is. But maybe that's what I mean. Maybe it didn't. <laughs> Who's yeah, Billy Entman. He he was uh, what 1898. Yep, making Hall of Fame 2006. Because that, I, that is the guy in the Hall of Fame. That guy is on the box, I think. Yo, yep. fuck that. Give people their flowers, dude. Yeah, 2006, 2006 to get my motherfucking on, dog. Bill Hall of Fame. And that Entman script is fucking. Yeah. That, okay. So yeah. So that was old as shit. Yeah. All right, that and he, sense. I think, I think they had like the bakery in town in Bayshore, and then Charles was like, "We going yeah, where Bayshore's in Rhode Island? No, Long Island." Long Island. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought. All right. No, yeah, he's like a Long Island trash. But, but, but like, I could. I just want like the globe was sweet about like local guy. I hope that you know what. I hope that the Entmans are not wealthy. I hope they're rich. I hope they're like, yeah, we sell donuts on the <laughs> island. You want a fucking donut? You want a little? You want a crumpet? Here you go. Take, give me your money. And get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what they said his favorite? Uh, his favorite dessert was. What? No, he didn't eat them. No. <laughs> they said he wasn't a sweets Charles guy. Did. You know, how crazy that is. <laughs> no, I can't. That's crazy. That's, Being like a, you know, making your empire. I, I said you never get high on your own supply. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> the only way that I would be in the Entenmann's empire and not know what my favorite fucking dessert is. That's crazy. The What was their, their fucking Boston cream pie? Slaps. So many things, dude. We went through it. Like the donuts, the crumb cake, the old school Danish they used to have. They got the mini muffins. They've got the apple pie, like squares now. I haven't. The, I the don't cookies, have a The white of... donuts. I don't have a ton of uh, Even experience with it. They're pound cake, dude. I want to just fucking hole it out and put my dick in that <laughs> pound cake. It's so soft and good. You don't even need the frosting. I just want to fuck that pound cake, man. I want to pound that cake. That's why it's called pound cake. You're supposed to pound it and fuck it. They're corn muffins. Fire. All of it is, a, oh, yeah, is they delicious. Oh, they do just tops, right? Huh? They do just tops. For the corn muffins? Yeah. It's not like, yeah, it's 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 like, uh, no, it's, it's more like just bottoms, to be honest. Oh, it doesn't really? have like it's just one thing, but it's almost like made from the top, but it looks like the bottoms. Okay, yeah. okay, fucking delicious. All right, Peter with Titan. My phone blew up like someone in my family. Died. <laughs> it was like yeah, was, that was I like, got like ten texts. That was like one. I was like I haven't talked to Kevin, but I have to tell him about yeah, this. <laughs> my my favorite comment was somebody said his casket should have been a white box with a like a, a plastic yeah thing <laughs> on the top. Um, man, how do we even get here? Oh wait! Day one, one, one more thing. Day wait, we still don't. We still want to talk about it. One more thing before we get to day four. Show I want to talk about in the in the wealth versus rich thing. Bro, did you see Chloe Kardashian's pantry? Pantry? Yeah. Yes. Like I, I would not want. 
Like, this is insane. This is some wealth. Like, this is... Th- her pantry is... is It's a fucking... I don't even know what to call it. It's a store. It's a big store. <laughs> that looks like a... Like, why uh, does she have that much gif? Like, this, this is a fucking store. This is no, a, bo- this that, is a that nice to me, bodega. That looks like a... Uh, yeah, it, it's 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 as nice as like a fucking museum or a store would be, but that looks like a doomsday room. Like you could survive in there for like forty years or some shit. Like this is this looks like they took a, a like a Gucci store and just took all like the shoes and like, the bags. Get the fuck out of here! There's yes. not like it, that's it's got, it's not got a, the no. that's not a fun way to eat. Look when at I that. eat Chips Ahoy original, when, Chips Ahoy chunky, Chips Ahoy chewy. It's got the labels on the fucking jars. Dude, when I eat the Fig Newtons are designed how like how do a, you like a, take like a that puzzle. to the couch with you? Yeah, you don't. How do you take the whole box to the couch with you? You fucking can't. You can't take any of the. But snacks. don't get me wrong though. Yeah, that's fucking well, let's, let's, fire, let's, wait, dude. Let's go through. I want a great shit. Dude, this is fire. Come on. This, it's fire, but it's no. When I eat, it's a disgusting act. Well, yeah. Everything it's, you do it's, is it's, it's animalistic. Yeah. I don't want... So this is like... I feel bad being in here. This is like fucking like a person who's too pretty. Like, I don't want to do this. Like, this is going to be... I want to make a mess of this. Do you know what's about to happen? <laughs> like, 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 like fucking Fight Club shit. Like, I want to ruin something that's beautiful. <laughs> that's what I want to do with food. <laughs> like, more, more so, so but, than women. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like, in, in your life right now... You don't eat in the kitchen, right? You take your shit and you oh, go on a plate and you I'll, go. Bro, I'll eat over the sink regularly. But you could probably do that here. There's a sink in here. No, no. This, Look at that. But when you, when you, but got, you would feel bad doing it in such a such a place. Can I tell you what? Uh, it would be like getting a blowjob in church. You're like this is like yeah, this is okay, this is you. there's like something wrong about yeah, this. Yeah, I feel that. Do you know what I uh, I just saw? I caught a quick glimpse of it. The the most ridiculous thing that comes out of marriage is the the wedding registry and the shit that you buy. There is two things that are absolutely preposterous. One is that every girl in the world puts the KitchenAid mixer on the list. It's like $600, and nobody ever fucking uses it. <laughs> Number two, scroll down one more, Fabs. That thing, the cake stands. Cake stands. <laughs> all of a sudden, we need a pillar with a glass top for all of our cakes? Yeah, that's for when we, for when we host Thanksgiving in 15 years. And, yeah, and, and, and you and you take out a fucking Entenmann's. Like, <laughs> like, we're not baking cakes on the reg that you need a glass dome to preserve the freshness. Get the fuck out of here. Now, now I don't, don't get me wrong. The things in Also, here, don't get us. Don't get me wrong. This is all for fucking show. It's all I, for I, show. You know, this is not like she uses this. She, want, she needs this regularly. The, but The things in here are all... The, the, the food doesn't belong in this environment. So you're saying, you know what it is? It's like, it's like, you know, this is a wealthy closet with, like, rich food. Yeah. Like, this right. is, this like is Pop-Tarts. It's, this it's is fucking... Chips Ahoy. This is... But that's what I respect about the Kardashians is they are – what's cool about the Kardashians, uh, uh, they are wealthy but, like, not, um, like, oh, see, foofy I, I, about I, I it. I call you know? them rich because they're the most gaudy people alive. But, yeah, so I guess, I mean, I think of them as wealthy because, like, they are because just generationally of of set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I even think they're they're gaudy, for sure. They're flashy, no doubt. But I think, well, yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're right. They're rich. But that's what I like about them is, like, their family is just, like, their family. They're kind of fucked up. They're kind of trash. They're kind of, like, rub it in your face. They fight. They, you know, whatever. It's like they're not really changing. And, if and your it's empire like, started like, with, I, a, I have... with OJ's defense attorney, you're rich. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the fact that Chloe's like, you know what? I'm so rich, I can make this pantry that's bigger than your house. But guess what we're putting in there? Mac and cheese, uh, craft mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah we're doing, like, we're doing, you know, Jeff p- peanut skiffy butter, peanut butter. We're doing double, double stuff. stuff all right, well, hang on, du- box of double stuff right there. You can take that shit to the couch. Hell yeah, you could. You can take oh, that. Shit to there. What can't you take to the couch, bro? No, you. I, I only saw the the uh, the cake things hard to take to the couch. The fucking the, cookie, the cookie jar, or those. You can't take that. Like I want. I guess you can take brother, it to the couch. Brother, brother, brother. I can take that. To the couch. <laughs> I can take that. But then to it's the like couch. a whole thing to clean up and shit but here, like that. But here's also the thing. I think those are for show. I think you, it's almost like when you get uh, when you go to the um, to the old school blockbuster and there's the movie behind the movies. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. or when you go to the poor people, like when you go to Models, the sneakers up on the thing, and then you go down beneath and you pick the box up. You know uh-huh. what I mean? I think underneath that is the Oreos, and yeah. you just grab the bag of Oreos. I, I think I think this is this is taking almost for like an open house. You know what the real problem is here? The syrup. That's a problem. <laughs> Wait, right there, like you, three, where, three. What's the matter? Because like where you've cooked your your waffles and your where like where have you cooked your waffles? Where are you gonna put your waffles down when you put your syrup on it? 
Well, that's right. just the pantry. That's her pantry. Yeah, the pa- it would be more nice to have you. You probably have a, a, a cabinet in the kitchen. Yeah, like you should. You know, I you, you eat at like the table or the island, and you grab the. Look at all the pickles. Look at all the pickles she's got. Yeah, bring in like a huge <laughs> jar. I don't like. You, I know it's uh, they're they're fine until you open them, but warm pickles freak me the fuck out. The, Gotta um, put them in the fridge. I I think that it, it, this was this was all taken for like obviously for show. And then <laughs> I'm sure that that China is like a billion dollars. When when this is, when it's right when this thing's regularly active, it looks like an animal's cage. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, everything everything is like you know, lined up. Hay. They let it's, like it's, it's just it's just dried spaghetti. It's been cooked and then re-dried, <laughs> and then it's just fucking like hay. Yeah, there's and messes and spills. Fat and shits and in the corner. <laughs> and just, <laughs> looks like a, a horse is out of nosebleed in there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they have like eleven-year-olds running around now. Yeah, they? like they're getting old enough that this is like, get the fuck out of here. But man, that would be nice as fuck to have that all that shit organized. Yeah. If I, you know what, Zah asked me today, what's like the the first thing I'm gonna do when I get my money? And I guess I gotta have like a house first or something. But I, that Marie Marie Kondo chick. Oh, I would organize shit. Oh, I would let her. I would I would love to get Marie Kondoed. Just let her fucking do her thing all over my face. Just fucking organize me. Yeah. Take me and organize me, girl. That's what this shit is. This is like this is also a TikTok thing. There's there's videos of women who like like let me show you my kitchen and they open the drawer and everything's labeled. Oh yeah. yeah it's yeah. almost like ASMR because you can hear like the clicks and the clacks of opening the tops and shit. And it's like, fuck you. You did that once and then your kids came through and tear tore it up and you know, get out of here. Everything's for fucking show here. Rich or wealthy, Dave Portnoy. Rich. Rich. <laughs> rich. So rich, he's poor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, went on his show Dave, yesterday. Dave's, Dave's rich, rich. Dave, Dave's like, so rich that he's... Like, he's incredibly rich, and he's also incredibly the definition of rich. Of rich, yeah. yeah. He is new money rich. <laughs> and and I, and I don't think he would deny that. I yeah. think he would be like, yeah, no yeah, fucking shit. Sure. I have new money. Flaunting so. in your face, <laughs> spending it. You know it. It's all I talk about. Because, uh, yeah, it's like you work so hard to get it, and then you yeah. get it, and you want to, like, fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Um, I went on the day report on my show yesterday. Eddie asked me to go on. Uh, he he uh, invited me the day before. And right away I was like, you know, antennas up. I was kind of like, what is this about? Because I, I thought the day report on my show was still like the old Barstool Radio. If you get called in there, you've you fucked up mm-hmm. or you've done something wrong or dramatic or whatever. So I was like, what's this about? Eddie was like, no, it's just that you guys have had the, the rundowns again. People are loving those. Um, people love the inside Barstool talk. Then he finished it off, though, with, and I'm sure you've got some gripes or some uh, grievances you want to air out. And I was like, no. 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 <laughs> Why are you so sure not. about this? Yeah. I was like, and maybe. If well, I, maybe. If I did, uh, maybe that would is. I do that, like, publicly, mm-hmm. you know? And then, so I walk into the studio. Austin and Kareem are there. And I go, what's going on here, guys? And they both go, I don't know what's going on. Hands up like this. And I'm like, all right. I feel like I'm still being sabotaged. I get on the show. The Gaz was already there. They were already talking. And Eddie's like, all right, while well, we got Kevin here, let's bring him on the show. And Dave goes, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Everybody put their hands up. <laughs> it was like, so uh, we just start talking. And Eddie starts asking questions and whatever. And then it just led to a, a, a back and forth conversation. But um, I, I listened to it, uh, which is a rarity. Yeah. But I thought it was very good. You thought I, th- I-, I thought you were uncomfortable at times. Yeah, but the oh, I mean that's the biggest difference in my content. Zah said this today. He didn't he didn't articulate it. He just said, "I thought you hated Dave and doing radio with Dave because I I saw I worked the glass when you did Barstool Radio and I worked the glass when you did CCK and I could see the difference. Uh-huh. And that is whether I'm comfortable or not. Right, I'm not comfortable. Right, it's a, yeah, it is. He's, he's uncomfortable. <laughs> he's that's an intentional thing he yeah, does. It right, makes, right. Like I I've that was I was gonna say I think I was thinking about it while I was watching it that that was the definitely the most I've ever seen you to interact and the most normal. You were slightly uncomfortable at times, but like yeah. it was the most normal I've seen you too. And I mean, you've had less reason to do it over 10 years, but like even when there were just us in the office, I've never had a, like a, a long about, conversation with him, but or, no, no, but nor like a comfortable one like that. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Everything's yeah. been like, you're on edge. You're whatever. Right. I right, thought right. despite the fact that you were noticeably uncomfortable, it was again, only at times, it was the most like normal. It was one of the more normal times I've ever seen Dave talk. You think? Yeah, I thought so. I thought you but, guys which, like, and that makes sense. And that's why I was so surprised by some of the shit he was saying. I mean, I said this earlier. Dave Portnoy saying that he wants segments and bits and games and shit for radio. Yeah. <laughs> like in what world? That's one of the craziest things I've ever heard him say. Yeah, like he hates all that shit. 
all that shit is shtick and and you know like the last thing I think anybody would want is like like we're back from the break like you know KFC and Dave Portnoy all right let's get into this or that and like you know throw these things at you like he he, he does it on on BFFs but I think it works for that show because it's like that one of those yeah. kind of shows but you know I was I was saying like what do you think of like does, does Howard Stern have like bits like he had re- recurring themes and characters and shit like that but I don't think there were like you know he wa- it sounded like he wanted like things with names and games and and that kind of shit. That's so sticky and buffet of bits type stuff. It, and I was I was like, anytime Frankie tried to book a guest or or do something like that, it was always like, get this the fuck out of here. What you? And even if he thought he wanted it, as soon as we started, you'd throw that out the window. And I don't think anybody like, I think the truly great radio doesn't need all that. I think he's right that like you need bits and repeatable things that's why we do top fives and asshole and all that shit but to me it's like i wish we didn't have to i wish we could just i wish the sales could go out there and be like you're just gonna hear the best conversation between these two guys and that's that's, total nonsense right right but that's (laughs) what you can't sell total nonsense the fuck's wrong with you (laughs) You guys you fucking (laughs) bums but you know it's like I, i think it's almost a waste to have like two talents in the room and be like and now we get into a round of like whose face is this i like, think there is <laughs> <I> think, <laughs> the, 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 the one that you want bfs like, is so funny it's like young person do you know this old person right. old person you know this young person no, no. next one <laughs> no next one no can you believe that <laughs> end of segment <laughs> and i'm sure it kills and, and sells and all that i get that but i just couldn't i remember i thought that, that they did that like on on chicklets a while ago where it was like ask a millennial or something it's like no young people don't know old people stuff it's, it's just the fact and it, like it know? is like and I, I i'm sure we've done it before but I, I i don't find that to be a very repeatable segment because it is yeah no i don't expect young it's people funny to like one time right you know, where it's like wow you don't know who john Mayer but yeah is there's the occasional it's... shock of right where one the, is really on you know unbelievable you which can't. i guess you know now that we're saying this like yeah you can keep doing it but i i don't know i wouldn't want to keep doing it no that um he he um what else there was another thing that i thought was um Oh, I mean, you know, people like when he was like Penn, Penn like didn't didn't need Kevin for the deal, which um, I understand. I've always understood that I don't do gambling, so the you know I wasn't gonna be a part of that. But I also thought there was probably, I bet if if me and Dave were on better terms, I wonder if he would have been like I don't I didn't have to be a part of the deal. But I would have liked to have been a part of the process. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like I was, you know, when he was saying that, like Kevin could have said no to this, and Penn would have said, like, "Well, fuck you, we're going through with it." Like I would have never said no to it, but I would have liked to be in on some of those meetings and being like, "I'll represent the non-gambling side." But I guess if Penn doesn't give a fuck about the non-gambling side, they'd be like, "We don't need to talk to you." Yeah, you know? yeah. But I do wonder sometimes if we were on better terms, if he would have been like, "We got to have my boy Kevin here to like talk about things or be in in the conversation." But I don't know that Dave would. Yeah, I don't know that. I, I, I like. I don't. And I don't mean if you two are better on better terms. I don't know if Dave would do that with like For his anybody. best friend. I feel like, like, and it, it maybe it's it's a testament to Dan being more vocal and like probably like want like go, being proactive about it. But I feel like he would, he would have had like if Penn was like we just want we just need Dave. You know, I feel like he would have been like well we'll bring like Dan along too. But I think that's you know, that's because I think he Dan would enhance. The con, and I think Dave would see that like, well, well, he's good at this. If you guys don't see it, then that's yeah, a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't think Dave, Dave would ever do it to be a friend, and I don't think you should to be like a friend. I think he'd do it because he think it would be better for business. Her. Business, yeah, yeah. 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 I and uh, in just such asshole fashion, the only thing he posts and shares on social is talking about the loan that he offered me. <laughs> it's like. As always, just make sure people know I'm ahead of him. I'm the boss. I, you know, I'm it's like you dumb dickhead. But I, uh, it's it is funny. That's the most words. You know, not even kidding. Probably you know, if you combine the last four years worth of words, it's probably you know we probably talk more in that one. Are you happy segment. about that? Or because um, I know I know there have been times where you're like I'm happier to be. Not doing content I, with Dave. I like being. But I think on, you've kind of come around on that. Well, now well, two it. things. No, not regret it, but you miss it. Two things. I wish I was a gambler because I would be one of those key people, and I would be in on a list, and I would have more money right now, and I would probably have a bigger future with them. Um, so I wish I gambled. There, there. I, I don't think there's a way to be like cool with Dave if you don't gamble. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I don't think it, it just 
consumes so much of him. And I remember early on where it was like he, you know, the only thing he's talking about, like, did you see that game? Did you see that beat? Did you, what'd you have? You know, who'd you have? And then when you have Dan and Mario, those people like that's who he, he's going to like, uh, associate with. But, um, he also just got so big that like, I think it would be good for business if I was still doing a two hour show with him every mm-hmm. day, you know? So I, uh, but I think even like, even like rundowns, which obviously you're happy about now, but like rundown for a while, you were fucking mid. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't well, and that's where <laughs> Dave, Dave said like, Oh, I hated radio. And, but he kind of almost posed as like, I hated you. And I like radio was a grind. Rundowns got annoying, but I still, even when I categorically disagree with Dave, on something personal or how we behave or how we view things philosophically. I still always had some level of like walking out of there being like, that was a show that was business and not like we were faking it, but not, there but was I, a time at the, at the old office, there was definitely a time with the run now. It was just like, it'd be so much easier if I, and like it, it would be so much easier if I wasn't doing this or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Well, it, and it's also, it was, it's a time thing and every day and right. like radio was two hours every day where it was like, we got to do the podcast right before it or right after it and all that shit. But I guess just on like a personal level, I also don't understand why, I guess we both all talk shit to each other. So if I started to like bother him with the way I was doing that, he would just be like, all right, fuck you. I don't like this. But it seems just so much more like a, it would be a one way street. Like, I hate him. He's the boss. He's got the money. He's got the power. He's got the fame. And he would almost be like, I don't even care. care. Right. Like, no, I, I didn't even think he would care enough to, like, take note that he hates me or hates the show. He's just like, oh, I show up and I do this. Like, whatever. But that was, I was surprised. I was surprised by that, too. He's like, well, I hated you. Yeah. I was like, well, I was like what? wow, damn. That, <laughs> I, that's what I said. I was like, oh, oh, okie dokie. Because I, 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 I there wonder, were disagreements. But it was like, and I wonder, I guess I could have asked this. Um, in, in there. Um, I didn't want to get, like, too deep into it or, or open up a, you know. Like, right now, me and Dave are at his – we've always been in a spot where it's, like, clearly, you know, we don't get along or whatever. But – See, that I didn't think was true. Not like get along. We're not friends. Think, you know what well, I mean? Well, yeah, not obviously. Friends. But, like, we all – yeah, we get in the same room. It's not like we, like, fight each other or anything like that. But I that, I want it that way. Like, if, I, if we got into that yesterday and he, like, said something you can't unsay, where it's, like, well, now as, like, a uh, fucking – as a grown man, I can't, like, be cool with you anymore because you said that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even want to open up a conversation where I'd be like, really? You don't like me? Why? And he lists the oh, reasons wait, why. Oh, wait, that's when, and then was, I'm like, that's when you were sick of the rundown. When he was always, like, talking about, like, feeding Shay or something like that. Yeah. Well, so, the, like, the, the, yeah. What, and that's, so for me, things turned when he got rich, the, like, the first level of rich, and just became, like, I own you and you owe your entire life to me. Right. Every single thing along the way. And every ch- – I actually saw a clip the other day um, where he just was, like – taking ricochet shots and i wish at the time i didn't really react well he was like i was looking at you from behind the other day and like oh like you know you're just like gross or something like that and i didn't jump all over the fact i was like what do you mean you were looking at me from behind (laughs) like it was almost like i was just walking around and he was looking at me being like this guy's gross (laughs) because to me i just shouldn't i just didn't even think i would ever be on his radar or like ever even um but yeah to be like i hated you it's like, uh, okay. And so I, I, I think I wanted to, my point was, I wonder if there was like something that happened where it went that way because I just wouldn't think there would be that I wouldn't be on his radar. And clearly he was like, yeah, I hated you. And I'm like, was there like one day in radio? Was there one time that we said something? Was there, was it the way I did a certain thing where it was just like, yeah, I can't stand this guy. Cause I don't know really what it would be. Other than, you know, if, if he was just like, yeah, you kept, like, saying I was, like, a 45-year-old man with a bald spot, and I just, like, fucking hated that or mm-hmm. whatever. But I didn't think that would be enough to be like, I hated you. So I wonder if there was – that w- that would probably be the one thing from yesterday I wish there was, like, an answer to. Like, was there – I would guess no. There's, yeah. there's pretty rarely, like, a one thing. It's mm-hmm. usually just a, a combination. Or of- even, like, yeah, but if he said it was a buildup of, like, you know, when you were in New York, you used to do things this way, and I hated it that way or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it just seemed like a strange – it's like okay. <laughs> well then, fuck you. Right. <laughs> I you was go fuck I, yourself too, sir. I was also surprised at how easily he accepted that. Like, obviously the company has changed a drastic amount. Like at the office, not the company. Like, yeah, the office yeah. has changed. Like I was like, just like, he's yeah. like, yeah, I figured that. Yeah, well, like, oh. because you know why? Because he gets the credit for it, not being, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he gets to be like, well, that's all me. Yeah, <laughs> it's I'm the one who makes it that way. And well, I, it's uh, I, I think. I don't think it's I, obviously Dave plays a huge part of it. I think a huge part of it is also like Corona, where people are like, "Oh, no one cares if I work." 
Yes. So or if I come in, you know, so work would, or not, it doesn't matter. I, I could take a year off. Also, I, there, mean, I could take three years off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I can do this one week, I can do it two. If I can do it one year, what I can do it happens two. if I just do keep it forever? Going. Yeah. You think they'll re- oh, they renewed it? Okay. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> hey, what if I can do five? What if I can do five years off? <laughs> so true. Also, there's a level of like resources. Like there was always a cameraman. There was always someone following Dave. And that's where, like, the drama would – like, I think if you're in stool scenes, you're like, I'm going to follow Dave because that's going to, like – he's going to do something or say something. That's going to be my content for the day. So that's where they're going to always be, and that's where stool scenes basically comes from, where, you know, we – there's a bunch of shit that will happen, but it's like there was no cameraman there. Mm-hmm. There was no – because they don't – we don't have people following us, like, the same way he does, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's also – it's not, like, just Dave leaving. It's, like, everybody leaving, and all of a sudden it's not, like, a hangout spot. It's not a – of, I, I think it's a, a lot of people just don't come. Anymore. Yeah. So right. like you can't really have can't really be a place of and like, yo, where, like, we, like we our, hired like, like a million people. Our like our bullpen is like there's, there's no one there anymore. No, no. I mean, they, my they, desk they, I don't even have like a chair anymore. There used to be, you no, know, used to be. Let's see, there used to be what? Let's call it five, five, ten, fifteen people there. Yeah. On like, where like our like who we used to fuck with. There's probably four there now. Like Rudy, Rudy and Austin, and then. Uh, this publicity, and then, and then like Hubs is there occasionally. Hubs is there sometimes, and like like, and that's that's not to say people aren't working. No, but it's like, like the floor play boys are on the road. Yeah, and yeah. then I don't know, Casey's doing whatever Casey's doing. Like I mean, Casey's in a lot actually. Casey, yeah. and then I don't know, Liz is doing what Liz is doing, and then right. they're like. Keith's doing what Keith's which doing. Which is what? <laughs> there are. Uh, <laughs> but, but I also mm. like the, the, the amount of new people, too. It's like when it was just us, I – you know what? I actually uh, – But I, also, we're not there either. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, like, yeah. We're, we're, I'm also I'm, – yeah, I'm either in really, here or I'm gone. I'm you know? basically – yeah. But yeah, I, don't, I, will, I don't want to be like, we're here. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm never over there either. So I, I will give her credit because it was trial by fire. I remember when they sat publicity two doors down from me. And I was like, this is not going to go well. Not because I dislike her, but I was just like, I say a lot of things hanging out in, like, you know, our little clubhouse that's going to get me in trouble. And she's cool. She rolls with it. I'll be like, Casey, you dumb fucking slut. <laughs> Shut your fucking whore mouth. You're so wrong. And I, I was like, oh, Pelosi's right there. And she would laugh or she'd be cool with it, you know? So, um, like, but, but other like people. Take a note like Russ Wilson sneaking a snack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it, I also. Russ Westbrook, I did it. You said Russell Wilson, said yeah, yeah, Wilson. yeah. <laughs> but I did. Uh, I still never would say that to publi- to publicity. Right. So like, there's new people around that I'm friends with, but it's not. It's just not the same. It's just, you can't have the small, tight knit clubhouse feel when it has become a big media company yeah. feel. It's just different. It but was- I said this like you got you know Brianna Brianna Chicken Fries gonna make the biggest thing on the internet in a couple years. Like you you found Nick and KB, you found the Yak Crew. Like we found some some fan favorites now. That it's not your your favorite three or four or five guys from last you know ten years ago, but there is new things that are you know almost bigger and better. It's just not. It's just different. People yeah, want to change. It's just different. Right? Yeah. New new fans aren't like oh man, I wish this was four or five guys just like hanging around. You know what I mean? They're just like <laughs> it is what it is. So it's all about just comparing old and new. That never goes well. Uh, let's get into am I the asshole? We got him. Am I the asshole? Today is brought to brought to you by Helix Sleep. You are an asshole. If you don't have a Helix Sleep mattress, you're also probably irritable, tired, uh, achy, in pain, not well rested. You're probably failing at your job. You might even be fired. I am, I'm literally all. You, you, you right could now. be homeless. <laughs> you could be. Yeah, John. John's been sleeping so poorly, his head exploded. His yeah. ear exploded. <laughs> we don't know how it happened, but he got I, every he got time a ruptured we, eardrum. Every time we, it's like a certain angle we look at each other. Every time it hurts. you talk, it's like I get punched in the head. Oh, that sounds great. It is no, it's awful. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> the worst fucking. You it's, should just do the rest of the show like looking this way. It feels no, just don't it, even it's like it's like me. an angle like this way. It's almost like I like, absorb. It's not like you're speaking loud or anything like that. Just how it's entering just the my sound ear. waves. Are just it r- is. R- r- I've been I've been in so much pain that I've just been sleeping literally nonstop. It's been <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, are you on a Helix mattress that that gives you the comfort you need, or are you on a crappy mattress? I'm on. Uh, I have not left my couch. See, that's the thing. You got to make sure you get on your Helix mattress. I sleep on a Helix mattress every night. Here's what you need: Helix mattress, weighted blanket, dark blackout curtains. Don't have curtains. I believe in the power of some white noise, so I do that. 
And I also, uh, in recent, when, once white noise wasn't enough and I was up and having anxiety and shit, I, uh, I have been listening to books or like audio, like, uh, not like podcasts, but more like people talking that's like designed to like meditating talking mm-hmm, kind of because mm-hmm. then I will stop thinking about all of the problems in my life yeah. um, and then also like 3G yeah. <laughs> but the mattress that can come with a couple pillows too if you do our deal when you have a quality mattress it's worth the money it's worth the time it's worth the investment it will change your life extremely for the better people especially I think like Americans everyone else in the world is sleeping right got siestas and people <laughs> taking time off and people doing like you know 12 hour nights we do like oh you got a good six and a half like that's it that's all you get yeah did you see that tweet from glennie last night no he said i love glennie so much he's talking about his performance in the dozen then he quote tweeted it and said and i did this on 16 hours sleep no less and and <laughs> Six hours of no sleep Six hours of no six, sleep like he was up for 16 hours yeah so i replied i said glennie babe what does that mean? Because it seems like it means you got a full eight. <laughs> yeah. Most people would like do that, right? And and he replied, he's like, oh, it was about, it was a callback to this tweet. And it's just a tweet from 2020 that like, of his, his own tweet that like no one else remembered. No, yeah. <laughs> and, no. Saying and, what? And some, it was saying that he he's got bragging 60. about being up for 16 hours straight, which I guess everyone on that one replied like, hey, dude, that's. <laughs> yeah, you know, that means you got a full eight. Like you're, yeah, you're, you're good. And then that's an extremely almost regular day. If you were to wake up at like eight and go to bed at like midnight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's 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 and it's probably eight, eight le- more hours. It's, that's it's, like the blueprint almost. It's more eight sleep to twelve. Than most eight to twelve. Would get. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Eight most, to twelve. Get, twelve to eight. Eight to twelve. Around around. I would I would say, I'm usually like I get six. Maximum. So I'm usually doing about 18 hours. And then don't even get me started on, like, what's actual REM cycles and yeah, actual yeah, sleep. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, I go into I my bed and in, I try for six hours. all my sleep, I would bet I've not hit a REM cycle once. No. Yeah. Not once? I would bet, right I would, now, you mean, or just in general? Right now. Like, I would okay. bet I've not hit a REM cycle in four days. Oh, that's brutal, dude. Because that's the other thing. Like, you can go to bed, but if you don't get real sleep, you're not getting the, the, the reboot you need. And that's what Helix Sleep gets you because, as I said, it's worth the time. What I meant by that was it's worth a two-minute quiz. You go on there. You explain who you are, how big you are, what you like, what you don't like. Is your eardrum exploded? Are you a – like, for instance, one of the questions might be like, I don't know, are you a man baby? And John would be like, yes. Yeah. And it would be like, do you eat healthy? And he'd be like, no. It's like, do you eat – I'd say soft? yes to that one. No, well, when you have your HelloFresh. Well, otherwise, it's like <laughs> I eat, you know, like Swedish fish for Again, for the last I had like days, 75 I, I Swedish fish. than ordering fast food. Yeah. So and then what, what, what and we're learning like, right now is I think a little bit of a hard D and I just have an ear infection is <laughs> <laughs> what we're explaining. <laughs> but a bet can help. A mattress can help with that hard D. Uh, if you get uh, once you answer all those questions on the quiz, it tells you you are this type of person who likes a firm mattress with this cooling technology and you need this size. And they'll they'll also throw in uh, two free pillows. So you get um, I think you get two hundred dollars off. You get. 200 bucks off any of your mattress orders and two free pillows when you go to helixsleep.com slash KFC. That's H-E-L-I-X sleep.com slash KFC. $200 off and free pillows. Uh, am I the asshole? Let's get it. Go ahead. Go pee. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's get into it. Am I the asshole? This one was on TikTok. This was a uh, like a video text video if you will uh so this happened a few days ago and i'm still not sure i'm 100 ready to tell it but here goes i've been with my girlfriend for about a year and i already know that she's the love of my life she's perfect for me we are perfect for each other we're getting ready to move in with each other and i want nothing more than to start a family with her and spend the rest of my life with her uh we went to a we went on a short vacation last week and we when we returned she gave her she gave me her phone to look at some photos from the trip she went to the bathroom while i had her phone and as i was scrolling through the pictures it kind of jumped to a period that was about a year and a half ago if you have an iphone you know what i'm talking about you scroll a little bit too fast and all of a sudden you're back at the start of a photo album it's annoying as hell put a pin in that yeah it's, okay good yeah, red flag I'm there glad. Thank uh you. but some photos caught my eye some photos that I really shouldn't be seeing of her and a previous boyfriend. Um, there she is, the love of my life, trying to get her mouth around the biggest dick I've ever seen. I've watched a lot of porn. A lot. <laughs> I've never seen a dick like this. I'm talking bigger than two Coke cans stacked on cho- on top of each other. Longer and thicker. As far as I can hey, tell. Come on. We've seen. Two Coke cans? Well, 
Uh, Longer and thicker than two Coke cans. I don't think the length on that one's that crazy. Two Coke cans? I don't think that's that is, I guess I don't know. Is there a Coke can right here? No, we'll just do this. Ah, of course, we've only got one. <laughs> we'll put it on top of this. This is this is a can size, right? I think that's bigger. Uh, I guess a can smaller than I think it is. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a <laughs> hammer. It's a fucking hammer. But I'm just saying, in porn, I've seen a dick that long. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You know, when the girls show, like, the little Latinas show, like, their, their arms, you know. Uh, again, to reiterate, it's a hammer. I'm just mm. saying it's not totally unprecedented. Uh. The girth is out of control. Because you literally. And it says. So you literally says, couldn't suck he that. It says thicker. It yeah. says thicker. If so you it, tried it, to it, suck it's this. It's girthier than this. this was a dick and I was sucking it. <laughs> I, I mean, that hurt. Like, it would be just straight mm. teeth on a fucking dick. So. Mm. A, you know, I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, maybe, or whatever. I mean, there's, I think there are very few dicks that you can't put your mouth around. I've seen a couple of them. See, I've never read the one I couldn't. <laughs> but sometimes you see a girl where I'm like, that's just, you know, there's that girl's just chewing on his dick. There's no way that's a blowjob. But anyway, as so as the story goes, two cans on top of each other. I will leave that here for reference, okay? <laughs> I could see another... This one's worse to me, by the way. I think this is worse. I could see another thumbnail of her comparing the size of his dick to her forearm. Here we go. Quote, with a look of wonder and glee on her face. <laughs> like she's looking at a goddamn unicorn. <laughs> like she is in <laughs> awe of this. Like she look at looking at a wonder of the world. Being like, it's the Grand Canyon. I How does this even exist? I can't believe this is in the world of reality and I get to suck it. <laughs> I close the pictures and I've acted like nothing has happened but I cannot get these images out of my mind. I've never been self-conscious about my dick size. In fact, if you believe the stats, I'm significantly above average. But this has destroyed my self-esteem we haven't had sex since i can't concentrate on my work i just wish i had never seen those damn pictures is there an ending to this like is there uh so what do i do or uh that's it okay so this is more of just like a uh, oh fuck um i think it was actually if you look at the reddit what uh the tiktok page what does it say i think it says something like i i don't know it's the book of reddit i think it was i think on reddit it was something like i gotta get this off my chest or whatever one of those pages true off my chest yes so uh, first, let's let's get back to the technology. I have definitely had a, a an instance where I was like scrolling, 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 and all of a sudden it kind of goes like, Rrrr. but like not enough to be like I went to the beginning of a photo album. No, I've well, I, I actually never looked at like an individual photo album. I'm trying to see. I don't like, have photo. Do you have, do people have photo albums? Well, yeah, like, like these are all albums technically. You know, oh, if, if oh. you go to albums recently, but that, but that's not, that doesn't imports. feel like that's what it meant. That meant. I feel like that meant like, like Jamaica and like I don't know pictures of my boyfriend. Only it doesn't get emptied when you get a new boyfriend. <laughs> is what it sounds right. like. The name of the, it sounds like the name of this album was. <laughs> I guess it's photos like... with my boyfriend. Photos having fun with my boyfriend. And sometimes it's on vacation. Sometimes it's, it's with fucking comparing his cock to your forehead. Sometimes it's with a dick in my head. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see like a scenario where I'm like. Whoops! I ended up at the beginning of this. I've. I'll say I've had this happen. Like, it, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. So, like, with an, like, so what you do just, you mean? Explain. I think if you double tap like photos, it'll just shoot to the fucking top. Like, it's crazy. And and then you're like, yeah, you're trying to scroll it. Just like it's like, oh, you want to so go. Like, all if the way I go back. to recents and I'm like, I can definitely. If you, if you, it's almost like getting like getting like like that that 24 hour treadmill like. You can gain the steam where it just starts whipping up, but yeah. I've never had it happen Going like right like, all really the way. quick. Yeah. Um. But I, I think the the larger point here is uh, really the dick. But well, no, yes. actually, no. Honestly, it's not. No. Like, if we're doing am I the asshole? Okay. You are the asshole. For, if my girlfriend gave me her phone and was like, "Here, like, I'm going to the bathroom." Which I don't think anyone does in 2022. Like, here's my phone. I don't care, like, who you are. Yeah. You could be squeaky clean. It's weird to be, like, just have access to my phone. phone. But the – I would, because I'm a good person, I would say – I would put it down. And I would say when she comes back. When she comes back, yeah. When she comes back, she can let me through what she wants me to see. Because I I think that there is an issue here if if there was a very recent picture mixed up in your your recents, that's that's a problem. Right. Right? So, like – it really depends on if this wild thing happened where it just scrolled to the top. Because then now we're talking about 
I have these old pictures on my phone. Some people run into that. Do you delete the nudes? Do you not? Do you have? I don't save nudes. Okay. I think I think it's it's, it's in the moment. Kind oh of oh, you mean like like uh yeah like click like you have the, the the text and you like save to my photo album. I don't do that. Yeah, I don't do that either. You're no. right. You're right. I mean, I've done that in the past with some like. I've oh done, yeah, I've done I'm, I'm going to go back to that one. I've done it before, but I I I I think I think we're in a post nude society. I think people don't care about nudes anymore. And I think that it's just like they're whatever. You know what I like about you is that we just we, we declared it a post pandemic society, and we're just now we have a new title I for think, it. I think I so I think we're in a po post nude society, meaning I that think, people don't like care about. I think we've them. gotten so we we've, we've been so inundated with nudes that like they're not they're fine now. They're who cares? Like I've I've, I've seen. Everything. But people are still sending them. People are still sending, but like I I think that it's not. People don't talk about them anymore. Like it used to, I mean, it used to, and maybe it's because we're used to it so much, and that therefore, we're, who cares? But like, I it used to be like, dude, my friend, my girlfriend sent me a nude, or this girl sent me a nude, and it was like a thing. Like, I've never yeah. heard, I've never had a friend or a person tell me about a nude in five plus years. Um, there are Instagram accounts. I wish I knew the 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 name of it. That this is so lame and so low and so like horny. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are accounts that are like. Pupperoos, and they make slideshows, and like the first one's like a cute puppy, and the rest one's like your favorite Instagram girls. So if you have like a fucking chick who's lame about you following like hot chicks on Instagram, you it looks like you follow this like dog account, and any videos the thumbnail is a dog, any slideshows the first picture is a dog. That's impossible. You it's are crazy. such a loser. That's that's like you if you follow that account. That what I what I wish they would do is like send a mass DM to all their followers saying break up with your girlfriend. <laughs> like if you have a girlfriend who's mad, I guess break up with your girlfriend. If, if you if you, I guess if I was if you're dating someone and they and you like continue to follow like a ton of like tits and ass um, accounts, I think I, I wouldn't be like this is like cheating or anything, but I'd probably be like this is a little weird. I don't I, like I've never followed like a, a tits and ass account. Like, like I follow individual people. But like, yeah, yeah. But like, um, I'm not like compilation. But like, so like, here's if, just a hot girl. If, if here's you, a different hot girl. Here's another hot girl. I guess I. But I don't like. If you see like an Instagram model, like you'll follow. No, that's what I mean. I, uh, I I'll go through like like uh, I, I mean I follow Instagram models. I follow porn stars. But it's not like uh, basically all the porn stars are like people we've interviewed. Yeah. Or like I guess it's it's, it's it, uh, <laughs> she's the bu white buffalo. We'll get her. <laughs> um, but the. I think the problem is when you follow someone that's like, here's other accounts, and you're like, oh, I know her, oh, I know her, yeah. I know, I know her, yeah, and then that's it. I, I, I guess, you know, I wouldn't. I, I, don't I think for the most part, you're insane. allowed to like do what you want to do with your social media as long as it doesn't cross any like personal lines. But I could just see a scenario where it's like, you know, you're following like all of these fucking ass accounts. I don't. know. I yeah. could just see girls being like, that's a little fucking weird. I think that um, I think if we can uh, change Instagram, um, aka like the most popular social media account, there is a there's a severe issue with like following someone like they're like the only reason i ever follow someone on twitter is they get retweeted onto my timeline i don't uh -huh. i've ne like never put like a person's name into a search bar i mean like because i have someone had mentioned i should follow them or right. i want to follow them i don't care that much so i'm not like i'm not going to be like all right oh you, uh, who do you think i should follow okay I'll, I'll type their name and blah 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 if it comes across my timeline and i then i click on it i'm like oh that was funny and i click on their name and then i look through their Twitter's for I don't know I go back like three days and I'm mm -hmm. like oh this person's pretty funny okay follow and that's the only way I'll do it but uh, you cannot retweet someone onto my Instagram timeline so yeah. I never go follow anybody I guess you know there's an explore page no do you do that? I don't the only reason I started doing that is because it feeds me all those like weird pimple popping videos Ugh, and shit that, that I watch I watch all all my it's funny my like explore or whatever it's called is either pimple popping or like oddly satisfying like you know just weird like you know, drawing things or just no, those obvious yeah, yeah, satisfying yeah. videos. And then, like, the last one will be, like, a hot chick. It's a very strange – it's a very strange little algorithm I've got going. <laughs> um, but anyway. Um, anyway, where were we? Still haven't gotten to the dick. Right, the dick and the and – the Oh, you know what is a <laughs> problem if you're, if you're cheating and snooping around and shit? Or not snooping around, but uh, sleeping around? TikTok – shows you who sent the video to you. So like if me and you are dating uh -huh. and I and I cheat on you with Zach or I'm fucking around with Zach, if Zach sent me a TikTok and I sent it to you, 
there's like a little bar that says like shared by Zach on yours from me. Really? So if you like an even ex if, sends something to you, if me, a, I've seen that, I've, yeah. I've had people send it to me before, but I so even if I send that link to someone else, it'll like show that. like who sent it, who viewed it. There's like a lot of information that's like it's like the hockey assist. It's like before me. That's that's like if you get it from somebody you shouldn't be getting it from, or just another girl in that's general. That's a good note for people. That's a very good note for people. <laughs> Again, not even if you're even if you're just cheating. If it's just like if your girl is the type of girl to freak out that another girl sent you something, it could be a friend, it could be whatever. Like you should not send TikTok videos. <laughs> do not send TikTok videos, to people. Just don't do it. Just be like, I saw this funny TikTok, and you go find it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> because send ours. yeah, you can send ours around. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's that's a very dangerous one. That is just like, why does that exist? It's almost like they, they they're gonna change that. Remember when like Instagram had the features like you can tell when you're online and who you can and who you follow and all that thing, and they were like, get rid of this. Yeah, you know, people are using this for dirt. Don't <laughs> don't fucking allow this. So, um, what do you think? By the way, you, you, if you do, if you were to have nudes on your phone, you think when you start dating someone, there should be a active purge of all prior nudes? Ah. <sighs> I don't know. Like in in theory, would I like it to happen? Yeah, sure. But I get not doing it either. It's all. I mean, it's like, uh, am I gonna scroll through like five thousand fucking things on my camera roll and find them and pick them? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, like, like if I came across it, I'll do it. But I'm not gonna be like, okay, we are now official. Let me just like clean go, up go. everything <laughs> in my, you know. Um, you know what I think I'm past. I don't. I don't think I'm. I'm in a post nude society. I think I'm done. Uh, yeah, I think you're closer than you think. I, 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 I thought you were gonna be you're gonna rail against me. You're gonna no, I'm, I'm, I'm fight go- against the ocean. No, but I think I think we're. I'm I'm certainly po- I'm, I'm, the I'm, frequency of nudes being sent yes, is way down, and the I, I am fully post sex tape era. I don't need to film any sexual activity <laughs> ever again. I, I've never done that. I, I got my film. Uh, I've done like You've done. I've done little things. But yeah. never, I've never like filmed sex. Yeah, no. I've filmed I, like little mm-hmm. things here and there. But there's definitely, but like, the, the phone has been out. I had an era where the phone was out quite frequently. <laughs> and then it's just like, it always leads to problems or issues or just fear. And I'm just like, every time someone does get hacked or something leaks, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. What about that time <laughs> I did this? And did that one go? Did I delete that one? Did I, I don't know. You know, it's just like. I, I don't even care about it for, like, protecting privacy or, like, scared it'll go out because I don't think people really care anymore. But I think it is. I know you say that, but they do. I care. I care. About it. I think the people who happen to care about. But it's I don't not like they it's... really care about it, but, like, it's going to be a thing. If you're, like, if you had, like, a fucking video you jerking off on the Internet, it's going to be a thing. Yeah. Oh, it'll know? be a thing. It'll yeah. be a thing. <laughs> it'll be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Be, ruin a lot of days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be um, a thing for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> um... But the like, uh, oh yeah, I forgot what I was saying beforehand. Post nudes, post. Oh, you, I think you were about to say I just didn't do it because you didn't want to film during sex. Is that what you were about to say? No, but that's true too. Yeah. It, but the there was a time where I was pretty enamored with it. Yeah, <laughs> like, this is cool. You hit you you hit yourself in the right, get the right you know ten second chunk where it's like all right i was thrown down but then you'd fucking pound off to that no 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 it's just more i don't know it's like yeah, having a collection so, like, I don't, you know what I it don't is you know what it is it's an nft i don't need i don't uh, need to have a any non-fungible token of me fucking <laughs> um but yeah that's well that's kind of the point is like i think it got to a, a point where i was like what am i gonna do with this all this is gonna do is like you know 0.0 percent chance i get like fucking hacked or whatever but it is there it's a possibility it's a problem leaking's a thing and you know, what out? What if my if somebody sends it by accident? What if my kids go through my phone? There's just bad things that can happen and no things. It's almost like having a collectible. It's like, but a dangerous one. You know, it's like when I have a million pairs of shoes, it's like, why? Because I just, I just wanted to have this pair on my fucking wall over there. And I just wanted to have it. And then I got past that. I was like, I don't need that. Yeah, anymore. I it's think, the same thing as, I think as, we are. And, and you, but I, I, I bet. Okay, so here's the deal. But I'm right. I'm just, I'm just not there yet. You're, I'm, you're ahead I'm, of me. I'm just ahead of the game. Yeah. It is. You'll but all be I, here. Here's the difference. Here's what I think does still matter. I'm I'm done with like, I don't need to film like myself having sex. I think there's still something to someone sending you a nude. There's something to it, but it's nowhere near what it used to be. It's not scandalous enough anymore. Well, that's, you know, it depends on the nude. You're no, saying. even like anything. It's like, ah, oh, it's like, no, there, used, come dude, on. there was a time when if I got a nude, I was like, I have to masturbate right, right now. This second. Well, maybe you were <laughs> extra into nudes at that point. I think that's the thing. I think, you know what? You, you were, you went like this, like with your nudes. Like you went to this extreme and that extreme where I just kind of stayed in the middle the whole time. <laughs> like I'm slowly getting to where 
you were where you are but i never was at where you were at you feel me <laughs> well i mean I'm, I'm exaggerating to an extent but there's like it used to be like crazy hot like, oh my god she's a yeah. mean nude and it's just it's so well, prevalent. also you're like, depressed pe- everyone says also you're a depressed bag of shit <laughs> so what do you mean? this is not you're not gonna get excited about anything <laughs> but it is like there is if you meet the right it, chick or like have the right you know chemistry with a chick and it's the middle of the work day and you get a surprise nude you're gonna be like i think oh, when when nudes were first it. introduced it was like Yep. Oh my God! They'll send me a nude. Yeah. Like, that, that is true. That is like that, they'll do that for me. I now, mean, this now it's like these guys have been sending nudes. Yeah. Now months. it's like how many other fucking animals do they send a nude? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what really? Um, what really actually kind of ruined it for me? Where like the beginning of the decline for me was when I first grasped how prevalent sending old nudes were. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, like that's there was not a time my nude. Yeah, there, there was a time where like I I could tell every nude that I was getting from a specific person or whatever was in the moment because of like whatever. Yeah, now now something. I got you got to fucking do it like Castro proving he's alive still. Yeah, I need I mean, I mean, yes. today's USA Today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because because the, I used to get nudes where it was like, oh, that's where she is right now, or like that's you know it couldn't have been fake for whatever reason. I saw her wearing that same outfit earlier, whatever. Now it's like. You know, knowing that girls are going through their their like cachet of them to be like, should I send this one or that one? And it's like, ah, well, that's like the the again. The, Bro, the, I don't think the, I've the, taken a nude since 2012. You just keep <laughs> sending the same ones. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't I don't even send them anymore. No integrity of the game. But like, pff, I dude. think I think that. Well, you you're like, like fucking get naked and hard right now. Like, this is so <laughs> that is hard. Like, that's uh, chick. So I chick, I am on the couch right whenever. now in Chick Fil A. Yeah. Like, I'm not fucking. Yeah. I'm, I'm There's just... been times where I've been, like, I'll take a picture of this now because, like, it's it's a good picture now. And, like, I want to, like, and later I'm going to want to chill. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's too early in the day to, to do this, but we're going to do this later at night. <laughs> but it looks good right now. So I'm just going to take these and hold on to them. And then I've even I done... sent one, like, one of those early ones. Like, like you know, get out of the shower, like, oh, good dick. That's there. what I mean, yeah. And I, and I got a response, John, it's 6.30. <laughs> So that's what I'm saying. Where at least it, no, he was, shower, he was what the can't... fuck, John? It's six thirty. I was like, ah, that's a good point. All right, I'll see you at work. Should I hold? <laughs> <laughs> we got to meet at eleven. <laughs> I'll see you there. Did you send the Zoom link yet? I got. <laughs> that's hilarious. I'll see you at work. What a line. Um, but I I feel like um, uh. <laughs> that was- that was a GNC. <laughs> that is amazing. GNC. Christ. Um, I, I think everybody should have to send nudes in real time. Can't go back to the well. Or you can, but you can be like, you know, here's a little something from. But even that, I think the, the best part of nudes was like if they're made for you. In a way, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I'm so turned on right now, like ch- because of you. Check this out. But if it's like, oh, that's you know, you took one good picture and you send that to like every guy you've ever talked to, that's kind of cheating. The, the magic of it has been lost. Yeah. Now, now you. But you, okay. You, you, we I, all, I think we it's less. I just the, don't think it's lost. I still want to try to get the. You're chasing the dragon, and I'll still get high, and I might not get there, but I want to try. It's not lost, but it's like it's like your first time at a strip club versus yeah, like yeah, how you yeah, are yeah. how it's you like are else. now. We're like, what? What are you laughing at over there? Just you guys been talking about the nudes for a minute. Now. <laughs> 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 I was thinking about this also. My friend in high school, he just he his nickname was the Nude King. Like every girl <laughs> sent him nudes. That's he received them. He received nudes. Okay. He would just get like every. <laughs> Girl in school, Dude. like he got sent to the principal's office like four times in high school. See, that's the problem. You can't like, like that was never uh, the principal was never gonna know I'm sending nudes yeah. or receiving nudes. That you... he's going through his old laptop the other day, like because he was just clearing it out and he found like his folder of all nudes. And then he like tells me about it. He's like, but dude, these girls are like 16 and 17. It's like child porn he's on like, your phone. Like, what do I do? On your computer. So we just went bats. We just destroyed. The computer. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't want to delete it. I don't want to touch it. So we, I came up. We just beat the shit. Out. <laughs> <laughs> That's like old uh, office space. They just started dude, smashing dude, the fucking also machine. Also, didn't do anything. I don't think. Like. <laughs> yeah, because did you think about like if, if there's an account or a cloud or whatever? That's he, all he's still like, there. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to like. He's like he just knew it was there. He's like we'll be in the shit on this thing. I guess if it's on a hard drive, that would yeah. be good, right? Otherwise, if it's anything that's connected to anything, it's still out there. 
I, I don't know. That's I don't so know. funny. That to be like, yeah, like, if I open it to close to delete it, it's still open. It like that's, <laughs> so we just bashed it with a bat. Just, yeah, we we probably have been talking about nudes for like twenty five minutes. Yeah, so. <laughs> and this is because of an man of the asshole. Yeah, we have not even gotten there yet. Nope. I will say this to get to get back on track. It's um, it probably shouldn't be on the phone. It should. It certainly shouldn't be something that you have to see. Um, like that sucks to see that. It's probably a little immature to be like, this is like ruined me. But also, like, that's how you feel. That's how you feel. Like, sometimes yeah. those things, it's it can be immediate where you're just like, I'm insecure about dicks. And I didn't like that you have this giant dick in your mouth. <laughs> and I can't unsee that. Or it can be the little thing like that. I know that's always going to be in the back of my head. And it's going to be eating at me to the point that I can't. And maybe, yeah, I should be a little more, like, sexually secure. Maybe that's a little uh, childish. Maybe that's whatever. But it's like, sorry, Guess dog. What? You're dating a baby. Right. <laughs> Sorry, man. And also, you it's fucking and, pervert. And, and if there's any like truth to uh, like the look in her eyes, it's like it's not even that I saw that. It's just that I know now. You're not like, like looking. I've at never seen that look in my your dick. Eyes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like we can still it's, do this. Maybe I'm not gonna break up with you, but just know that. And you know, I look. I used to look at you one way. What's that? Song? I look at you. You know what? I used to look at you like you looked at that cock, but now I don't. Yeah, yeah. So do that. Do with that what you will. Like, do you want to be dating a guy who's Kind of always thinking about that you got fucking impaled, you got opened up, you got cracked open like a walnut at Christmas. Like, I don't know what to tell you. That sucks. And that is a true, like, you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. It's like, I wish I could just unsee that, but I'm not going to be but able like, to. But, like, I also, like, yeah, the the dick, it sucks. The, 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 you have this massive Apparently it doesn't because she couldn't get her mouth around. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that, I, I would, and maybe it's child again, maybe it's child. but, like, if I just saw, like, my girlfriend fucking another person, I'd be like, well, that fuck. That's going to be in my head a little it's, bit. Yeah, yeah, it's in my head a little bit. It, it I, doesn't matter. Like I think time. time. It's like, oh, God. Yeah. It's, like, I I always knew in the back of my right. head that there's right. other people. I didn't need to fucking see it with my own eyes. Right. Yeah, and it's like, maybe I can give me some time to try to get through this, and maybe I will, maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe every time we have sex, I'm going to be thinking about that, and, it, and we're fucked. <laughs> yeah. And if that's the case, you should have hit those dick pics a little bit better. Yeah. My thing is more. Once you get a fucking like, who I feel like those in a fucking regular photo album, you animal. So that's what I feel like. That was more unless you know these guys are saying that weird thing happened with the photo album where it jumps to the top. That feels more like that. Those dicks were maybe in those recent pictures. You were scrolling through and that dick was in there for some reason. And well, like, it should just be in a in a fucking private folder. I just learned about hidden for like the first time ever, like a couple years ago. That's a that's a good one. To What's know. hidden? You can just click hidden and then it's just not in your regular camera roll, and you have to go to a. Album that says hidden. I'm sorry about that right now. Not yeah. a very, not a very great hiding place. No, but it, but it prevents it prevents the like, if I you know if I'm like scroll through these, I mean we no but we never do this. But like look at these wedding pictures. It's like, and there wouldn't just be a fucking cock in there. Yeah, because you know I mean? that's in a whole separate place. If someone's snooping, they'd be like, but why, can, why do people just have like the private folders, like um, like, the, like the apps where it's just like it's like locked. Yeah, because I mean you just don't have to to download an app on it. You can just go hot, hidden. It's super easy. Yeah. Also, at the ultimate thing, um, you know, don't. Well, I guess this wasn't snooping; it was just an accident, as he says. But if you snoop and you find something that that's you know that's on you too, it's like you shouldn't have done that, man. Ignorance is bliss. Uh, and next, we'll do one more M of the asshole, and then we'll do voicemails. Oh no! What? Oh. What? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> PFT was like I'll literally cut. <laughs> what PFT. happened? You got traded to the, to, to the Redskins? Redskins to PFT just tweeted. <laughs> Made the decision to get drunk at work. <laughs> Why he just hates him for all like, he, like he's, he... he's been saying like he'll block people who anyone who even like jokes about the, red, the, the Redskins will get Carson Wentz. He's like he's like, I've never blocked anyone, but like I will I want to block Scree, Spree if people joke that we would get Carson Wentz. Because he hates him as a player or just like a as off the a, field yeah, asshole. That's a player, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone tweeted that you and him should have an anti football podcast next year. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah just be like, I'm not watching it. I'm not watching it. <laughs> Where essentially you just talk about football the whole time, but just <laughs> right. say wait, wait, you're wait, not gonna wait. watch it. BFT is going on an absolute fucking missile right now. So he tweeted this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> then followed it up by thinking about cutting off all my hair, having a legitimate mental breakdown. <laughs> and he quote tweeted a tweet from February where he said, I would rather blind myself with muriatic acid than watch 17 games of Carson Wentz next season. Quote tweeting that one. This was satirical. <laughs> 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 and, then, and, then, and then he... And then he just said dunk commander with that picture. Yeah, and I just got yeah. made the decision to get drunk at work. <laughs> that, that sucks, bro. That's a shitty feeling. Oh, 
Oh, oh I didn't see that he changed his name to PFT Commander. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Do you want to do uh, using my wife's hair dryer on my nuts or not telling my mom about Viagra? Hair dryer on the nuts. Really? I think oh, I'm going to yeah. go on Viagra. Well, we can save it. Okay. Uh, am I the asshole for using my wife's $400 hair dryer on my, he says, nards? Yeah. Is that a British thing or a, like a loser thing? Loser thing. Definitely. Loser. How about a British loser thing? Could be both. 35 <laughs> year old male here my wife 32 bought herself this awesome hair dryer from dyson last month he put this star, star over the o in dyson like barstool <laughs> don't want the dyson gang coming after me and she paid over 400 dollars for it this is easily the coolest hair dryer i've ever seen it's silver and purple has this really cool design reminds me of the plasma rifle from halo do a little google searching over there and see if you can find this thing but you weren't listening were you you're fucked now. <laughs> I, I wasn't listening at yeah. all. <laughs> Do four hundred dollar Dyson purple hair dryer. I was so impressed by this blow dryer that I asked my wife if I could use it too. She said I could use whenever I wanted, and that it was good that uh, that we get our, our money's worth. I started using it every morning after my shower to dry my hair instead of just towel drying it. I have short hair, so it only took a minute to dry. Still felt like I wasn't getting much use out of it, so I um I lost my spot. Um, so I wasn't getting much use out of it, so I started experimenting. I tried drying my armpits, makes applying deodorant much nicer, and I started drying down below. Side note, 100% do recommend. Without going into much detail, it just feels a lot more hygienic throughout the day. This morning, my wife walked into the bathroom after my shower and saw me and saw something perhaps she wasn't meant to see. For the record, I do not intend for her to come in, but I didn't have the door locked. I had one foot on the floor, one foot on the counter, hair dryer in hand pointed towards Venus and Earth. I've also been humming the Halo tune. I may have also been humming the Halo tune. My wife had a bit of a My wife had a bit of a freak out and was like, "What are you doing?" I stopped and reminded her that she said I could use the hair dryer whenever I wanted. She countered with saying that she didn't want me to use it that way. So I'm not sure if my wife has a point here. I definitely did not explicitly state how I was going to use the dryer, but uh, there were no com conversations about the limitations beforehand. Am I the asshole? I think you are definitely not the asshole because this is something I've been doing lately. Blow drying your balls? Oh, Kevin. Wow. Because you know how I usually get dressed wet? <laughs> yes. So I've stopped. Not stopped. Like, I don't stop totally. But, dude, okay. I mean, if you're not blow drying your balls, old men in the gym have a fucking... There's a reason. All right? Wisdom is wasted on the young. They've given us that wisdom. You're 20 yeah. years old. You were given that wisdom. You pretty much should just do all the things old men are doing. Like, at all times. Time. All the weird stuff. Yeah. It's like, you're going to do it. Yeah, because it is like, it's you walk in and they're, and they're like, here's this fucking beautiful thing. And then you go home and you laugh to your friends about it. You try and sneak a picture to show people. Like, look how, look how weird this is. Bro, you don't have to pop up as much as he is, but if you fucking just get a little of this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude. I feel bro, like I've done that bro, before, just a little. <laughs> But it I is. never sat there to, like, dry Oh, I'm dry, dry. It was, like, bone dry. And it, and it lasts throughout the day? Bro. I Have am, you ever dried and I then powdered? I am so much less wet <laughs> nowadays. Out of all the things you've done, <laughs> putting on clothes soaking wet is the most unfathomable. Not soaking wet. But I would just – I dry quick, and then I just fucking put my clothes That's on. That's just crazy and I, I'm still, to think I still about. do it. I, don't, I, I still, like – I give a once over real quick on my body, but, but like then your arms, my like, undercarriage. Like you I take pull care of. your pants on and like your calves are wet. Oh, I feel yeah, it stinks. <laughs> For sure, totally insane. For sure, I definitely have just gone a little, <laughs> but to hold it there until I'm like totally dry, I haven't. But I have, I have no qualms about this at all. The, these these people are acting like they like you scrubbed your taint with like yeah. their face cloth or something. <laughs> like there's no touching. It just blows air. I actually, I've thought about What is the fucking difference, blowing your head or your dick? I've thought about before, Nothing. and this is a lot, I admit. I have, in my in my bedroom, oh boy. By, my, by my bathroom, I have one of those fucking um, air conditioners that, like, they don't, they're not in the, in the window. It's got, it's got, like, a tube that runs up to the window. Like yes, a, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 uh, like an like external thing. Yeah. yeah, and I've thought about, like, how I could meet in the middle. With the fans of that and the blow dryer, and just get both at the same time. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you're gonna let the blow dryer blow your ass and the and the hair dryer blow, blow your dick. I would go blow dryer on my ass. You would get <laughs> you would get 
double team spit roasted yeah, yeah, yeah. by the blow dryer <laughs> like, on the like, air conditioner. Like one of those videos where the guy's gonna get in his blow job and yeah. like someone's eating his ass. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'd have a, I'd, no, I'd be, I get it. I would literally be getting a blow job. I get you. Yeah. And then, <laughs> now you would go. Would you go? Hot, cold air from the air conditioner. I would go on warm, your dick. Warm air. I go warm air. Warm air. Warm air. That's and that's going on my ass. The, the air conditioner. <laughs> the air conditioner. On, on the heat. air conditioner's taking my so ass. The, the, <laughs> the air conditioner can do heat and cold. Yes. Okay. Well, it can go. It can just be a fan, it's and just, it can be an air conditioner. But so are you the, putting a number? Or are you putting on? No, it would be fan. Fan on. Fan. Yeah. So that's not necessarily warm, but it's just not it's cold. Just, yeah, it's just fan. It's just a fan. Yeah. And then on your dick is the blow dryer, and you put it on like high heat. No, I put it on blow dryers. Medium, you can also medium, do cold. Medium, You've done medium. that. Sometimes I do cold when I'm just like it's a hot summer day. I'm blow drying no, my hair. I'm, done that. I you get out of the shower. You know when sometimes you have the, the, uh, the White Sox Dave effect where your shower doesn't take and you're still sweaty and shit. Yeah. You hit it with the cold air, feels good. Do you see the picture, of White Sox Dave? Uh, was hat off. Yeah, yeah. Add another one to yeah. the fucking <laughs> Hall of Fame. What do you say? He said something like my, you know, my, my hat was like. I don't even know he what he said. He threw it on the ice with a hat trick. Right, but right. He's in a suite, I mean, so I don't but like, he did. like he had his like hair like curling yeah. up. He's like, oh, you're awful. <laughs> um, so blow dryer on the dick with medium heat, and then, and a- air conditioner on your room, ass, room temp which, on the ass. And why haven't you done it before? It, I don't think I don't think it can reach. I think I need like an extender, and that's a little much. <laughs> why don't you just bring the blow dryer to where the air conditioner is? Could definitely do that. Great idea. Yeah, no, I never thought about that. <laughs> just no. like there's got to be a, a plug <laughs> wherever you plug I don't really the air. Unplug my air conditioner, so I kind of think of it as I don't like. But the, I don't but, like put but, it away when I use it. But wherever so kinda, the air conditioner is, obviously has a plug. Yeah, no, 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 you're you're hundred percent right. right but like it's just like my 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 hair dryer. I just think of it as permanent. that stays in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, I mean, no, don't right. get me wrong, I, that's I could, stupid. I can definitely yeah. change it. Yeah. yeah. All right, I mean, I, I'm obviously gonna do this from now on. <laughs> Two people said it's good. Sounds good to me. But Neano is good. And also, obviously, he's on NASA. Like, I mean, no, there's just nothing. There's no reason to not. And now, I, I get if she doesn't want. She's like, I don't want to see you do this. Yeah, sure. Like, don't, don't walk in on me. When fucking, I'm in the fucking bathroom. You know. <laughs> this is, hey, honey, how are you? That's I'm, not I'm great. I'm not flexible enough for that. I, I, I'm just. Uh, I just get you just squat. to spread the legs. And squat. <laughs> yes. How about this? How about this? <laughs> Hear me out. Let's say uh, this delicious bottle and, of Whistle Pig is the hair dryer. What if you do one of these and you like hold it? Hold it like that. You nah, you're not, you're not, you're not spread, spread open it. enough. Yeah. yeah. What if I'm like? Because then you get, because you still got crevices going. The, the wider you get, the less crevices you got. Now, are you really blow drying your dick and balls, or are we kind of getting to the back a little bit? No, no, we'll, 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 we'll float, we'll float back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're giving yourself a rim job with a hair dryer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because yeah. that yeah. would seem like a more, a more important thing to dry. Uh, you know, just get the whole yeah. area. No, you know, you're getting the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. And, yeah. and again, just remind me, what heat are we doing? Just medium, medium. Okay, because hot heat, not, you know, heat, no, no, high no. heat. But also, like, I'm not, I'm try not up the, in it. Try I'm the not cool button, it. man. It's <laughs> cool buttons. I think is gonna blow your mind. <laughs> uh, I, you know, it might be a little too cool, but it might be like, ooh, that was exhilarating. <laughs> and then, and then you know, you do. I also like the, the little... armpit because you ever put the deodorant on when you're, you don't wear deodorant. I, I wear deodorant. You guys ever put on deodorant when your armpits are still wet? It's a mess. Whenever I put on deodorant, it's still wet. Well, yeah, I mean, clearly everything you do is wet. <laughs> when I put on deodorant, it's still wet. I feel like it's not going to, like, take effect on the skin. I, feel I, like think, the, I think that's like, inaccurate. I know, but I feel like there's a layer, like, there's skin, water, deodorant. I feel like it's not getting in there, which I know is stupid, but it just feels weird to me. Uh, I think, you know what? I'm going to have, you know, Zai asked me what I'm going to spend my money on. I want to have a one of those things where you're collecting dollars out of it. That's just how I dry in the morning. I just stand there and, just, and I'm just dry all over my dick, just flopping in the wind, hairs blowing back, and I'm just done. It's like I think they did it to Austin Powers when they unfroze him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that. Like a, like a car wash. I want to go through a car wash in the morning. I want a system where I'm in a bathroom and I sit on like a conveyor belt and it pushes me through and it's got the spinny things and those fucking floppy things and it suds me up and it... Dry, it, it washes me off, and then I just, <laughs> and I come out the other side. I'm fucking clean, ready to go. I like that. Two dishwashers and that. <laughs> All right, am I the ass? Uh, that's it for am I the asshole? Let's get into our video voicemails. Uh, what do we got? Let's go. One other thing, real quick. That's a nice way to <laughs> dry the undercarriage. Is is what you do is once you're all dried up like that, uh-huh. put the socks on, on on your bed. 
but don't put your underpants on first. So when you sit oh, on your what? bed, you kind of just oh, like. Oh, see, I do that when I'm wet. You kind of like boom. Uh-huh. I'll sit on the bed when I'm wet yeah. to dry it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But here's the thing. When I, when I sit down, when I sit down, it's one of those like. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I'm kind of yeah. like, <laughs> like <laughs> spokes skinny. on the sheets. Yeah, oh, oh, right on. Going spokes on the sheets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, spokes, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. like open <laughs> yeah. up and sit on down, so I get like my balls and my ass. I almost didn't say it. I almost didn't say it. I'm so happy I did. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! I could have been like, you know what I mean, and made you say it, but I said it. But that means we're not alone. That means other people out yeah. there go fucking no, you full go ass on the sheet like, on the come bed. Out your socks out. You're like, yes. <laughs> I go casting couch with it, like spread them, and, and then and then it almost like if if I'm like fresh out of the shower, it leaves like a little like a like a like a Rorschach test. A little peanut. <laughs> There's like a little spot from the balls and a little curve, a little pop. That's that's great though. And then I put my underwear on. I'm like, all right, now I'm dry. Yeah. You're out here blow drying. I'm just bop. Yeah. No, I do. I do both. Yeah, you do both. Yeah, then you I extra dry. Yeah. I I hope we're not the only ones that do that. <laughs> I hope. Does anybody else in the room here do that? No. 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 <laughs> maybe it's an older guy thing. Right. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe eventually you you generate uh, you graduate to putting your fucking feet up on the things. Yeah. In the beginning, you fucking sit on the. Sit on the bed and dry your ass. <laughs> yeah. In the beginning, you're all dummies and just use towels. Morons. <laughs> Rookies. All right. What do we got? Fights, KFC, the crew. What's going on, guys? I got a quick story for you. So, a while back, I was talking to this girl. We hadn't been talking for very long. A couple days. Uh, she ended up coming over. We hooked up. She was my first kiss. Everything went through the whole array. Wait, how's um, that? And as she was out walking out the door, she goes, bye, I love you. I was like, what the fuck? So I texted all my buddies, and I was like, has this ever happened to you? Like, none of them had said it happened to them. So I was like, oh, my God, what the fuck? Um, so, you know, slowly ghost her, do the thing. Um, but my question <laughs> you know, was mentally like, mentally manipulate her and <laughs> crush her spirit. <laughs> the wildest thing that you didn't think would actually happen to you that did end up happening to you? That's a what, strange question for what, that story. What, <laughs> what was the question? What's the wildest thing that happened to you that ended up happening to you that you never thought was going to happen to you? So that guy just never thought some girl was going to kiss him and say, I love you, but that's all weird. Now, did he mean, like, their first kiss? That's what he meant, right? Yeah, their okay, first Okay, okay. I thought he said, like, that was my first kiss. I was like, you seem a little too old for that. Um, I, I, what I a can't question. Believe, like, like. It's like, so, I don't so, know, man. I ended up on fucking page six. That was the wildest thing that happened to me. <laughs> Not I once kissed a girl and had mixed messages. That's the wildest thing that ever happened to you that you didn't think was going to happen? I like, made international news yeah, with my dick they, once. They were talking, <laughs> the United Kingdom was talking about who I fuck once. <laughs> didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> Thought, never never woke up when I was in the seventh grade being like, you know what? I think it's going to happen to me one day. The Daily Mail is going to talk about who Rupert, I fuck. Rupert Murdoch's papers were talking about who I have sex with. I will never get over that, man. I had paparazzi outside my office asking me about who I fuck. Didn't put that one on the calendar. That wasn't in the five-year plan. The, uh, uh, the um, <laughs> what was I going to say? The if I were if I were like if that was me leaving a voicemail and telling that story, yeah, it would be like so I had this girl come over the other day and um, we kissed for the first time and as she walked out the door, she said I love you and I was like what and then I panicked so I sprinted after her and said I love you, love you too, too. <laughs> and and then we've been together for four years now. <laughs> that's that's how that story goes when I tell uh, it. Yeah, the I love you is it can be. A, I think you have to say I love you back. You have to say like, you're. I think you're you, a bad person if you don't say I love you, you back. Then. You do not. I didn't. I didn't say it back once. It was yeah, like high school. It was like no. That's some that's girl. the right yeah. thing to do. And I, I just went. I'm not there yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I could see uh, you getting there. Get, in high think, school, you did this. Yeah. And then uh, I did what that guy did. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly ghosted her. I and... once I once said it to a girl, and she didn't say it back, and I didn't even really notice. <laughs> like I don't know what I think she had. I think she. I assure like, you, I would notice. No, but I think she like just kissed me or something. It wasn't like a like. Nice. See you later. <laughs> it was like in the moment, and but I didn't even realize till later. And she was like, "You know, I didn't say it back that first time." And I was like, I didn't even realize that. I, yeah. I said it once, uh, having sex with a girl, who like it wasn't like a one night stand, but we were not dating, and it was 
not returned. <laughs> what was returned? Anything? I said it was no, nothing. No, but like you know, sometimes I say like, I'm not there yet. Oh no, like, no, we were literally having sex. Right. And I was like, oh, I love you. And she, just, and she was just like, just keep going, dude. Because <laughs> I was gonna say that's the best moment. Like if I said like I love you, and she was like, get on your back, I'll suck your dick. I'm like I can't, I don't care what you say. You know what I mean? <laughs> say it back, don't say it back, whatever. <laughs> that's the best place to not hear it. I feel like mm-hmm. if you say it, you know, just like. I gave you the card on Valentine's Day, and, like, now I'm saying it, and they're just, like, nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, thank you. Dude, I, 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 I think when you don't mean it is when you have to say it back more. I mean, this, is, I, this is why you are the way you are. I think it's a more important time to say it back when you don't mean it. <laughs> this is why you're you're this way. Zach agrees. I had someone – well, no, I mean, that's – I disagree. But I had someone call me <laughs> what, wrong. Why, it's a fucking – what does it mean? It's not, it's not some verbal contract. It's that's like, exactly what that's they think exact, it is. No, yeah. it's not. I'm, like, with you that that's, it shouldn't that's, be that's it That's on is. you, then. It's just, it's just fucking words. Yeah, I love you, too. Sure, who gives a fuck? <laughs> I, I had someone <laughs> – <laughs> Yeah. Like, like I, if I you if you put that much like fucking he said stuff. hard D we're yeah. on a hard D right now, <laughs> John John. So you're just saying that you know you can just say whatever words words don't have any meaning. Words don't have meaning. Words, yeah. You can well, say whatever well, words have, you want. Well, no, that's, say whatever that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying want. words aren't verbal contracts. They have meaning. Okay, they're not like it's not like oh this means forever. I'm indebted for blank. Like it just means like I don't know. Yeah, sure. I love you too. Whatever. What do you want? Here's the thing. I think that saying I love you is much like proposing. You better. Better. No, you're getting it back. You're getting a yes, well, sir. You're saying it to me, you're getting it back. So. Yeah, that, <laughs> same thing with the proposal. Yeah, I think yeah. if a bitch proposed to you, you'd say yes. I, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's, we've said that before. Like if the the worst thing that could happen to me is a KC radio fan runs up on the street and proposes to me. I'm like, ah, <laughs> this one is a contract. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Don't watch Love Is Blind, right? No, bro, you gotta watch it. It's it's it, it's it's magic. It's it, it's it's reality TV show magic. These people. This guy proposed to this girl on the show. You know the premise, right? You, you, yeah, you, I do now. You told me. I thought it was just yeah. blind people in love. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's a great idea, too. <laughs> just watch blind people, like, you know, wiggle their way through life. Yeah. Like, where, where's your fucking pussy? Where's your dick? Like, I, I, I think I think Chaps, like, says it's cute or something like that. Like, I feel like, or maybe I'm just conflating that with, uh, like, 600 what, blind pounds. people fucking? No, like oh, the love. way he talked about it, it made me think. What are you it was, about? Love is blind or blind people fucking? Love is blind. Okay. The way he talked about it, like, made me Definitely think it was cute. like, it's a like, oh, fiasco. they're adorable or something like that. And nah, it's, uh, but then uh, uh, that's how crazy. he says stuff about, um, like, my thousand pound wife or whatever. So maybe yeah, no, these people are absolute maladjusted freak shows. <laughs> um, you talk to you talk to them through a wall they call them the pods you go in this like little confessional room and there's like a lit up wall you can't see anything not even like a shadow and you talk and they talk for like 72 straight hours you bounce in and out i talk to you i talk to her talk to this da, 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 da. and then uh people are proposing after like two two days some people after like one day and then you see each other after the proposal and then you have two weeks to decide whether you actually go through with the wedding or not um and and what and what do you win? A nightmare in three years? Yeah, you just get that- you just get a girl or a boy. Like you just have a wife and a husband now. But, <laughs> and, and, but the people, the grand like, prize is you have a fucking a pretty big lawyer's bill in a <laughs> yes, couple of weeks. Exactly, months, you're gonna whatever. need therapy and a lawyer. Even even you stick with it for the two weeks. Like. Yeah, but the like talk about getting cornered and, and forced into saying it. The one dude, what brought his grandma's ring, and like had someone bring it into her pod. And was like, you know, okay, like they request a date almost, like meet me in the pod. She goes in there and on the table, he's like, what you're looking at there is my grandmother's ring that like she passed down to me and wanted me to give to like the girl who I love. And it's you. Will you marry me? And the girl is by herself in the room and she was like. And it's like. And he's like, are you okay over there? And she's like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Let's do it. And he's like, "Oh, you just maybe the happiest man in the world." I was like, "Oh, what the like, fuck?" Right. But that would be you if if someone proposed to you through a wall. I feel like you'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yes." <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's exactly. It. You gotta watch this show, man. They are so they're such fucking freaks, and some of the most hateable people in the world. The one guy I said this on the other show, but I gotta repeat it here. He is like he's like an Aziz Ansari, Ansari character. He's this Indian guy, 
Uh, I said he's like Gandhi from Clone High, if you've seen that before. Like, he's just this horny little Indian guy. <laughs> and most people are there because they are like – They've been dumped. They've been cheated on. They haven't found love, and they're they're changing their ways. They're like, oh, I always dated the hot person. I always went for superficial things. Now I'm just going to go for content, you know? Mm. But he was not really like that, and he was trying to find out, like, who's hot and who's not. Like, like so do you wear makeup, and, like, what kind of clothes do you wear? And the best was he goes, so if we were at, like, a music festival, would you be the type of girl to, like, get up on my shoulders and dance? And they're like, yeah, yeah, like, that sounds fun. I'd be, like, the girl up there. And he goes... Cool, cool, cool. So, like, would I have trouble picking you up? <laughs> and they're all like, what the fuck does that mean? So he was just trying to, like, sneaky ways to find out if you're oh, fat oh, or not. Oh, we did talk about this because I was like, it's like Michael Scott when he's yes, asking. Yeah, fellas, yeah, like, yeah, yes. Could you sit in a rowboat? Could you fit in a right, rowboat? Right, <laughs> But I, I'm, the, I'm waiting. I love Love is Blind, but they've got to do it sooner or later. They've got to put a fucking huge fat person <laughs> and they've had some fat people and I, I bet through conversation you can probably figure out if someone's fat or not and weed them out but one of these days I want there to be like some frat boy who proposes and this girl is just like 300 pounds Shall and I want the door to open up and I want him to just go like I don't know what, what would be funnier if, if the door opened up and he was like Ooh, or if he just went like fuck fuck <laughs> whatever it is that's love is blind you want to put some like some you want you want to have a set of balls and make reality that, that's TV show almost history. unfair fat shame someone like that like, holy that's, shit that's a mean it, it would be it would be horribly it's mean it's overly mean cuz like horribly mean cuz then he has to be mean and then he has to be hated. Mm -hmm. Then like, like you you're like to... ruining her self esteem. You're ruining like his reputation. Yeah. You're ruining all of mean, it. I mean, he has to. Not, he doesn't have to. I guess that's his thing. But like, do you think you no, could like I, you, would, you would like you... fake it in the moment? You think you could like hold it together? Or you think you'd be like, holy shit? I think I think it would probably come through in my face. Yeah, like, oh. I would try, but I. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, with the oh, she's got it. Fuck it. You know what would be? You know what would be good? We've took like our favorite, our favorite. Jesus. <laughs> like when Rudy did it, or what was it? Was it Jesus? Was it? Jesus. Yeah. Like, How'd they let you go from the set of Jeez. This Is Us for so long? <laughs> I thought season five was renewed. I don't know what's going on there. That one was huge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't even watch the show. I just saw her on my time. It's just like, it's just, like, just, it's, it's, just a, it's just a, like, she's just really. She's big. Girl. It's. Nothing, nothing against it. It's just a factual statement. Nice. I, next, I, next, I, I have a next. I have a bad beard, and she is. We're just talking facts here. Facts. Talking facts. facts yeah. Next up. Yo, KFC fights whole squad. I just bought tickets to the Boston live show number two. Yay! yay. Let's go. Originally wanted to go, but I thought I had Tom Segura tickets that night, so oh, I held man. off. Fucking recently checked. I had the Saturday show. Still being almost 30, was a little bit reluctant to do both back-to-back. -back. I said, fuck it. I want to see my boys listen to every episode. So I pulled the trigger. But <clears throat> that incited a question. Who would you guys be okay with cucking you on your live show? Is it Tom Segura? Like if I was like, I'm going to Tom Segura. Would love to see you guys. Would you be upset? This is What's, where's the line? The most disrespectful question. <laughs> Let me know. Wait, is Cigar in Boston that weekend? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah it's, I mean, we sold out Nashville, but Bert is at the exact same time yeah. at the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah, we, we went head to road. head with Tom and Bert on our next two live shows. <laughs> <laughs> we did pretty good though. Yeah. Sold out the first Wilbur show. There's tickets available for the second one right now, but we got guys buying it now. Does, doesn't your guy also do their stuff? Was he just yeah, like, yeah, yeah? yeah he's no, just I, like, I, I mean, I mentioned it to him, and he was just like, "There's a lot of your comedy fans. Like, they'll, you'll be fine." Like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, now here's the thing: you're talking to two guys with like, no self confidence, no self esteem. So I'd be like, "Yeah, I don't know. You like him better than me? Like, fine, fuck it." Tom Segura, I would definitely be like, okay with. Yeah. Him. If someone says like, "I like Tom," I think Tom Segura is funnier than you. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember people, somebody being like, you know, like, uh, you know, like Joe Rogan has like better guests than you or something. Like that. I was like. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The biggest podcast of all time. Okay. I can't believe I'm even in the same breath as him. I, I, um, I yeah, Segura, I a bunch Bert, of people. Segura, Bert, 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 Bert. Like, 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 you know, Bert, all, all Chris, the, like, all the famous comedians. Dan, Dan Soder. Everyone we have on <laughs> is funnier than us. So we have them on. You idiots. <laughs> There's very few people that are, I mean, professional comics 
all do a better show than we do. <laughs> it's about our shows are about coming and hanging out, seeing us, enjoying like ridiculous moments. It's not like you're gonna see our like stand up routine. It's about like we're gonna have ridiculous fans on stage and bagpipes, and we're gonna drink and take pictures and hang out. But you're coming to a party more so than a stand up. Uh, yes, show. especially second show. Boston, St. Patrick's Day weekend. I'm gonna be so drunk for that. You're gonna be hammered, <laughs> and everyone else will be too. I recommend if you got the money and the time, and you're at the first show, just come to the second show. Also, hang out because it's gonna be a different show. We're gonna run back some of the similar stuff, but I think we always kind of have different takes and different conversations. It goes different directions, so you're just gonna hang out with us for a few hours on St. Patrick's Day weekend. Get fucked up. Uh, we'll do we'll do some pictures afterwards. It's it's gonna be a time. Uh, also, Philly is now available, so. Uh, get your tickets to the Fillmore. We're going to be in Philly in May. But first and foremost, March 18th at the Wilbur in Boston, St. Patrick's Day weekend, second show. Get your tickets. Tell your friends. Bring a date. Uh, go solo. I'm telling you, you want to find love in a hopeless place. <laughs> I think, I mean, I've talked before about how I want to make a, a dating app that's, like, based on podcasts you listen to and people you follow. This is this is where uh, this is where I got the idea from it because people come to these shows and they meet up and they fuck and they date and they get together and it's like a uh, it's it's like a little it's like a little fucking orgy we're like a little cult getting together on <laughs> uh, on stage um, uh, Philly um, Gay Joe is gonna be there oh very he nice. lives in Philly so he'll be coming and hang out again so uh, you know it's it's KFC Radio yeah the Milk Girls will be at the one in Philly so it's KFC Radio and friends uh, get your tickets. Go to uh, uh, the link in bio for all of our social media or click the link in the description if you're watching on YouTube. Next up. Uh, hey, what's up, From, yeah, like, your dark room. God. What is that? Uh, I was the guy that sent the voicemail about Wordle, which I've since quit Wordle because it fucking blows now. Uh, anyways, I'm here requesting some good old-fashioned poop talk. Uh, inspiration being that I am coming off a performance and a half in the old Lou. Uh, this guy's so just a great performer. I just wanna know, He's a showman. Uh, how often do you poop? How long do you poop? When's the last time you shit yourself? When's the last time you poop so good you have to take your shirt off? <laughs> Got any other good pooping stories? Do you like pooping? Uh, what's your wiping situation like? A lot of different ways you could go. Uh, that's all. This has been Trade God. Let's just let Jackie take this one. Yeah, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's zoom in. Cut all the other mics other than Jackie's. Jackie, answer the questions yeah. one by one. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy is a little too cocky. I think he's a little too big for his britches. I'm the best Wordle player. Oh, but I don't play anymore because it's no good. Sounds like a guy who can't play Wordle anymore. Oh, I'm the greatest shitter alive. You're going to call in two weeks and be like, I don't even poop anymore, man. I mean... <laughs> Have you made any changes? That's that's one question. <laughs> What's that? Have you made any changes? Have I made any changes to what? Your poop. <laughs> to my poop? Like your poop game. I can't. I you can't do anything differently? That. No. You know, because, like, uh, I've tried, you know, they, they, they make those things where you put your feet up. Oh, I, I so used one of those one time. I, I've tried like, doing that. Like You also walk that. into someone's bathroom, you see one of those, you're like, they it's fucking insane. shit it's like insane. any goddamn <laughs> like, like, if you need a, yeah, if you, you like, need an apparatus, <laughs> you walk into someone's bathroom and there's a goddamn you apparatus. <laughs> no, no. I just think the same thing every time. Dude, like, like, you, because, like, 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 you walk in, you, like, if you, like, if you walk into a toilet, if I walk into someone's bathroom, I don't immediately picture them shitting in there. <laughs> if I walk into someone's bathroom and they have one of those things, I'm, I'm picturing you perched like a gargoyle, gargoyle up there. Like, 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 <laughs> I mean, this is fucking nuts. And then also, if you have it, you keep it in the cabinet. That like, I'm not gonna get it so, in and out. Every time I shit, it's a fucking emergency. So I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're waddling your way in. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like oh, I'm gonna go take a cab and bring my paper. And you know what I'm I like, hate? Oh boy. <laughs> I hate those. Is. Those things are called like the poopy pal or something like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. They make it like very childish. It's like. This is my shit deck. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you don't have a step stool to shit? That's weird. <laughs> yeah. oh, you know, it, it aligns you your body. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. the natural alignment. It's like, how about we don't talk about how your colon <laughs> lines up with your asshole, dude? It's not exactly like cocktail hour discussion, <laughs> you dickhead. I've been cheating like this for 33 years. Yeah, I'll I'm be, fine. I'll be all right. Like, maybe it's not. It's not one of those things where, it, like. Revolutionizes your existence, you know. <laughs> it's like I don't know. Maybe the maybe your shit came out a little faster one time. <laughs> Fucking chill out. What I do uh, want to. Uh uh, I was at a hotel uh, what, a couple months ago, and it had the the built-in electronic bidet thing that has like it has blows hot air 
It can do. It can shoot cold water, uh, hot water. But it has one that, like this little thing goes and comes out. It almost looks like planes when they when they refuel out yeah, in the yeah, sky yeah. and like shoots in. But then it, it would also there was another option. It would turn over and be like <laughs> and shoot out. So I was actually playing with Keegan with it. We had a blast. He loved this thing. It was like a, it was like a, it was like playing in the sprinkler, but it was a fucking bidet, which feels like dirty, but it's not. It's just like clean water shooting out. You yeah, know? Yeah. So he was like playing in the water and shit. I was like, this is fucking wacky. But it was all built in right there, and I was like, you know, I don't know. Better to have a fucking advanced toilet than not, right? I guess so, but I don't know. I don't, I'd probably use I don't a, I'd probably use a bidet either. for more for more pleasure than cleanliness. <laughs> I'd probably just pop on there when I didn't go and just be like, mm, <laughs> well, you gotta, then you got to go sit on your bed after that. Yeah, <laughs> I use the blow dryer on uh, the built-in blow dryer, and then I go spread and sit. Do the spread and sit, and I'm good to go. I got a little tickle. It's fine. Feels great. All right, <laughs> enough. Absolutely <laughs> fucking enough. Interview today is. Uh, Eric Stone Street, Cam from Modern Family, the man. He's got a new show out uh, where he's hosting a game show, and uh, it's brought to you by Laundry Sauce. It's the first designer detergent made specifically for the boys, for the guys, for the dudes, for the lads, for the bros. At Laundry Sauce, you'll discover a better way to muck your laundry. They've got premium, simple-to-use laundry pods. That are made with bold fragrances that'll have you smelling like a beauty, like a man rocket. How many more of these phrases can we jam into the copy? Uh, it's got soulful scents like Australian sandalwood to give your laundry an exotic blend of deep amber and smooth suede. Siberian pine leaves your laundry with a fresh juniper and oak moss aroma of the Soviet forest. Might want to edit that one. Uh, and you won't even have to sign a contract in the K. Dude, Biz, you have gotten really good at reading. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's going to have a <laughs> hell of a time with this. It'll take him five minutes to read through this thing. Their carefully crafted detergent doesn't just smell great. It's gentle on clothing. It's like the Lady Bing of your laundry room. I don't even know who that one is. Every laundry, every order of laundry oh, sauce comes with 69 premium pods per yeah, box. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Join the new generation of modern men who know how to chuck sauce on the ice and in the laundry room. I can't believe they just have us doing this hockey ad read. <laughs> it's also for, ch- uh, for for foreplay. They're just going to do hockey ad reads, too. Um, if you want to start Frankie buzzing watches. out there, you know you need the boys buzzing. <laughs> you got to cycle the pucks. Uh, then scale up your laundry game by going to LaundrySauce.com. You and your wrench are going to be smelling like a million bucks. I don't know about all that hockey shit, but I do know that uh, if you use like shitty laundry... Uh, shitty detergent like fucks up your clothes and gets them like they're not soft they're not good and, I'm like, and sometimes it can even make you like this you, is good yeah it, like it, it makes your skin like softer sometimes you can get dry so uh you know whether you're biz and a hockey player and you got your wrench to worry about or you just want to have clean clothes that don't ruin uh detergent that doesn't ruin your clothes go to laundry sauce.com and get yours today eric stone street on kfc radio let's talk to him and that syndication money's got to be pretty sweet. Huh? <laughs> well, you know. I'm comfortable. <laughs> this is a new iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wait for when well, my so, term's up. So no. <laughs> I just go in and then and they're a really good game. And <laughs> honestly, that that's a that, but, that's one of those things. Like all I need in life is this. Like if all I need is I don't even have to wait till my turn. Yeah, like, the, you made it, brother. And the, at the Apple Store, they're usually like. So you're just going to buy the phone? Yeah, I was gonna say you don't have to roll it into your bill. <laughs> yeah, you can just. Buy it. <laughs> No, my gauge. My <laughs> have you seen? I'm a, I'm a billboard in Times Square. You know, true yeah. fucking story. Second or third season of Modern Family, I had to go in and do something at the Apple Store, and I didn't have my ID with me. And the fuck I was with a buddy, and he was like, hey, just um, tell him to just Google, Google you. <laughs> yeah. All right, if you're watching this right now, you probably saw the video yesterday uh, where we raised attention about, oh, man, about finding my friend. Ugly KFC and bringing him back home. Okay, his his friends miss him, his family misses him, everyone misses him. Everyone just wants to see his fat, punchy fucking face again. So click the link and subscribe, please, so we can fucking bring him home. Thank you.